This is very mysterious music. Well, this is Pedestal. This is a game that I was not expecting to actually ever come out in English, and I was very excited to see it cross my timeline. So, to refresh people's memories, including my own, because I forgot. Pedestal is a game by Uri, so translated by VG Person here. And I think it was originally teased in the first release of the Sandman, even, as the trailer, I think. That's something, something that looked like this menu, but it has been a long time since I've played that game. And this had come out a while ago, I can't remember exactly when, but there was a statement at that time that this game would not be localized into English, would not be translated, and so I kind of gave up on it. And lo and behold, it appeared. And so, just to give you a quick rundown of the plot, it just says, uh, I'm reading off of each person's website, link will be in the description. One month ago, Cosmos Girls Academy student Shiori Natsume was found dead on campus. Though rumor spreads that it was suicide, Aoi Ue, I think, O-O-E, of the newspaper club wants to know if that's really true. Accompanied by her friend Akari, she begins an investigation to uncover the truth, no matter what may come of it. So, granted, uh, content warnings for self-harm, for suicide, um, that kind of mentally disturbing or emotionally disturbing content. And so, this game is not classified as a horror game, from my understanding. It's more of an adventure... let's see, what, are they, what is this called? Freeware investigation and puzzle game, so... Definitely gonna struggle with the puzzle part, maybe a bit less on the investigation side, hopefully, but... I don't know, we'll just have to go ahead and get right into it. So, the statue tab is not working, so I suppose we're just between load, start, and exit. I feel like I've heard that sound effect in a lot of videos before. Okay, uh, rules, no repurposing of resources, no redistribution of game files, and do not cut the end credits. Yeah, fine. All good. Oh, here we go. Uh, this game contains elements that may be unpleasant or discomforting to players. Please refrain from playing if you think it may be upsetting. Be warned that there are some horror elements, so... That's the the disclaimer text right there. I have no idea what the sub key is, actually. Oh. I'd be demonetized if I was monetized to begin with. In the autumn of 2013. Okay, I had to <laughs> advance that. Someone irreplaceable to me died. So, how did Cortez conquer the Aztecs with a mere 400 soldiers? To explain that, first... Oh, new Uri art. Sweet. So bored. Okay, that's all for today. We'll start with the Inca Empire next time. Class dismissed. You can tell who the <laughs> the protagonists are based on their hair colors relative to the the rest of the student body here. Oh, Akari, let's eat lunch. Oh, sure. Also, are we the only ones not in uniform? You seem kind of down, Akari. Is something the matter? Kind of bored lately. Nothing too interesting happening. I don't know about boring, but the school has kind of calmed down, hasn't it? It was super noisy for a while there. Yeah, already been a month since Shiori Natsume died, huh? <laughs> Well, but it's so strange, isn't it, to think the most popular girl in school, who had it all from looks to grades to money, would kill herself. It sort of doesn't sit right, you know. It's only a rumor that it was suicide. I want to look into what the truth was. What doesn't sit right about it? I mean, how could a girl practically swimming in God-given gifts kill herself? That's just asking for divine punishment. What punishment? She already kicked the bucket. Probably just had worries on her mind peasants like us couldn't understand. Huh? Worries like what? 
Oh, you're the little the three face. What does it matter? It's tedious to even think about the emotions of some heavenly palace dweller. See, you don't know, do you? I want to bring the truth of Shiori Natsume's death to light, as president of Cosmos Academy's newspaper club. Oh yeah? Good luck out there. <laughs> Hang on, you aren't gonna help me? Why should I have to? As a fellow newspaper club member? Huh? Don't recall ever joining a shady joint like that. <laughs> Besides, that's just an association, not a proper club, right? Can't get approved as a club unless you got three members. It's the same difference. You're always hanging around in the club room and eating snacks, Akari, while I'm frantically writing articles. If you aren't going to tell, oh, if you aren't going to help, I'll tell on you to our homeroom teacher. Miss Abe is bothering me on club time, and he's and since he's the basketball club advisor, he might pay you a little visit, like join basketball if you're so bored. Hehehe. <laughs> Damn, that's dirty. Some journalist for justice you are. If you don't like it, then help me, as my special correspondent. That's one way to say do my chores. I. It's okay, I'm slacking off and not doing my article that I'm supposed to be writing right now anyways. Hey Bottles, we decided we were going to look into the Natsume incident. You'll help too, right? Oh wow, that dude's, uh, he's all nerded out. Huh? Natsume? That was suicide, right? That's what I want to look into. It's just strange for such a blessed girl to kill herself, isn't it? Well, I don't know much about Natsume. Probably just had some worries eating away at her. That's the same thing Akari said. Well, look, even if it was suicide, I was thinking why not figure out what exactly those worries were? You'll help us, right, Bottles? You are technically the advisor for the Newspaper Association. A real bandwagoner, aren't you? I got no way to assist you. Don't want to get yelled at for talking around either. Alrighty, let's begin our investigation, shall we? Very pragmatic of you. Investigation into what exactly? Let's see. All we know is that Natsume died at school. And even it being suicide is just a rumor. First, I'd like to look into the details of the incident. Gotta get better at reading text in different colors to... Press the cancel key to show the menu as hints for investigation as well. X? Uh, statue menu, okay. Oh. Check that out. Oh, here. Uh, information is categorized by text, color, hearsay, info about people, hint for ne next action, red is scary. Obviously. Uh, the sub key is shift. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, this'll just run like every other game. Now what's the <laughs> statue now available in title menu? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's individuals. Oh yeah. Shiori. Okay, and these must be people we haven't met yet. No good. Okay. Back to the game. Well, this, this is handling real well. Can't walk diagonally, but, you know, you never really do. Not a terrible amount to look at. I'm actually trying to interact with things. Hey, Bottles, take off your glasses. Why? It's that thing, right? If you take off their glasses, they're actually hot. You know. <laughs> well, am I hot? Put them back on. Uh, sorry. It's fine. Uh, notice. Mukoda Kunihiko updated in people. This is real fancy. Look at that. Oe Ue. Question mark. Uh, 2A. Newspaper Association. A curious, vigorous fad follower can be susceptible to panic. Belongs to the Newspaper Association, but it's only her, not an official club. Uh, accepted to Cosmos Academy in senior high. Has known Akari since her first year. The gun on walls, they're hanging out. Kari Abe, the Go Home Club. Calm and intelligent, lazy, hates to be bored, not in the club proper. Uh, except at Cosmos in junior high, known now since her first year. Library assistant. Oh, this dude's a teacher. Mukoda Kunihiko, social studies teacher, newspaper associations advisor. Lackadaisical, unmotivated teacher, teaches contemporary social studies, Coke bottle glasses. Advisor for the newspaper. Not a hot guy, even if you take off his glasses. 
Mm, Shiori Natsume, 2D Orchestra. The attractive and clear-headed star of Cosmos Academy, daughter of the president of a Natsume Corporation, a prominent business in the prefecture. Died one month ago by falling off the roof of the school. Oh, look at that. There was actually, um... I wasn't really paying attention. Their profiles are in the back there, in addition to the sprite. This is fancy. Let's see, 2013. Hmm. Worry games must have been blowing up around then, right? I, I've been making these comments for years. Um. I have not unlocked the other features of my phone. That's okay. Let's have a wander. This is pretty cool. So I think one of the reasons why this game was not translated from my understanding was that it is centered more... Oh, what did I... I just missed that. What was that? To-do list. Try asking models. What was that that I had to... I completely missed the dialogue. Oh, we're asking them. Anyways, um, this game was... I think it's supposed to be really dependent on kind of the... The school culture of Japan, which is clearly something I'm not familiar with as an American, so that was one of the hesitations, I think, for why translation didn't happen right away, but I suppose we're here now, so I can't complain. Hey, do you know anything, Bottles, about Shiori Natsume's suicide? I only heard from the principal, so I don't know any of the details, pretty much just that the body was discovered on September 20th. Well, if you highlighted that, that's got to be pretty important, so I'm just going to write that down. Let's see. Body. Discovered. 9 slash 20. Man, that was a... I would have been getting ready, I think, just about to graduate high school. that Not that year, but the year after. So I've just dated myself. Fair enough, it's been years. Oh yeah, I hear the first to discover her body was the janitor of Fujimura. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna write these down and then recheck my phone. They're all gonna be there, so this was not necessary, but... Sure. I was listening in a, uh, unrelated to this, I'm using a bolt pen again. I was listening to some other gear YouTube video and the guy was saying, oh, I can't even play with these pens because they are really loud during virtual meetings. Like, oh, I've been watching that blow out my my microphone every time I do the retraction click. Really? I better ask Mr. Fujimura later. Know anything else? Uh, I told you, most of the teachers don't know anything. It was the principal who did all the external talking, after all. External? You mean with the police? Yep. If you really want to know details, how about you ask the principal? Doubt it'll work, though. Hearsay, now available in the cell phone menu. To-do list update. Uh, hearsay. Okay, well, I didn't even need to write that down. We can infer. Go to Fujimura in the staff room. Now we get to move on. Oh, cool. You can move between areas in the map. Press confirm on the place you want to go. Oh, that's fun. Cafeteria, art room, library, music room, cooking room, biology lab. Ooh, let's... Oh. I want to go to the bio and chem lab. I didn't expect a whole lot, but that can't really surprise me that it was locked. Staff room, let's have a gander. Auditorium, gym, field, pool. Oh, all the classrooms, counseling rooms. This school is huge. Where was... Where was their classroom then, right? They were like, oh, 2A? Supply room, janitor's room, infirmary. This is a huge map. Oh, wait, here's 2D, 2C. Oh, okay, they were all just centrally clustered there. What did I literally just read to do? Staff room. What? That's not it? Why can I not go to the staff room? Second year restroom. Oh, let's summon a ghost in here. Oh, there's all kinds of dialogue to pick up in here. 
Oh, Chiai. My makeup came off because of sixth period PE. Come on, I've got work after this. Yeah, I learned so much from that. I fell asleep in the living room yesterday, and my sister took a pic of me sleeping. Hope she doesn't post that online. Hello? Any ghosts and spirits in here? No? So why... Can I not go to... The staff room? Okay. What's the trick here? Can we just talk to everyone? Haven't gotten a reply from my boyfriend. I'm nervous. Alright, fine. Look, it's a photo of my dog. Isn't she cute? I got lots of comments online. Well, we were moving right into that era. I got chewed out today when Mr. Kageyama caught me eating snacks during history class. Come on, what's wrong with snacks? I'd be embarrassed if my tummy rumbled. Alright, I, I kid you not. I do not understand the fascination with the academic environment and not being able to eat, especially at kind of the junior level. Like, I get the, oh, the professionalism aspect. Not. I'm going to tell you straight up, I had my final class in the spring of 2020, right after the pandemic started. And it was all virtual, nothing was happening in person, so I had, my professor was lecturing me, uh, he was pre-recording episodes basically and putting them online and this dude pulled out a glass of wine and a dish of nuts and just looked at the camera and said well the benefit of teaching online is that i can have wine whenever i want it's like we are we are operating at like the doctoral level here this is this is the level at which i was taking that class and that dude's like yeah cheers bro i don't get it we're we're very hard on people at school in the beginning instead of just teaching them how to do things responsibly take that absolutist mentality of banning everything. Sleepy, I'm bored, so maybe I'll go home and sleep. Fair enough. I got all the hottest takes on education as a product of education myself. Let's see. The janitor of Fujimura is so soothing. When I see him around, I feel like it's gonna be a good day. It's an interesting thing to say about someone. Everyone seems so busy with clubs. Maybe I should have joined something too. Oh well, it's too late now. Why do now what you could put off until later? Look, look, isn't this photo of the fountain in the courtyard pretty? I'm gonna post it on social media later. We should go take a look at that, actually. Ugh, I've got work after this. Such a hassle. Wish money would just rain from the sky. You and me both, pal. This is also kind of weird, because I realize now that presumably this is an all-girls academy, so... Oh my god, they're talking about boys. <laughs> Have I been in here? Oh no. Oh, Abi, you're a library assistant, right? Put in a request for more movie DVDs. Um, who are you again? Sorry, I don't know the people from other classes at all. That's fine. You get a pass. Tomorrow's a meeting for the beautification committee. Ah, uh, what a hassle. My math quiz score was the worst. Wonder if I'll be okay for the exam. Okay, I gotta, I gotta know. I, I do not understand the the school system. So I am curious, like, what kind of age range are we looking at here? Senior high, Japan. Senior high schools in Japan. Okay, well, this is... I'm going to need you to uh, Americanize this for me. Oh... Okay, that's 10 to 12. Yeah. Actually, then this game chron chronologically runs in parallel to my own experience, I suppose. <laughs> that's intriguing. I believe I've already been there. Unless... Have I been here? Nope. Yo, Aoichi, doing, doing club work? Keep at it. Guess I should leave soon. It's easy not having a club, but kind of boring. Such a terrible thing. You're like, oh, extracurriculars. Uh. Is the cafeteria still open? I might go buy a snack. Yeah, valid. It's kind of cold, huh? You should wear a blazer too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Why can I not go to the staff room? Can't go to the 
field auditorium. Fire extinct. Whoa, look at that. When I move the fire extinguisher doing a thing. Can I not? Looks like the drama club. I'd just be bothering them. Fair enough. You know the craziest stuff's gonna happen at the pool. The courtyard, ooh. Oh wait, this is where the body was discovered, right? Okay. Pretty cool. One of the things that I think is very interesting about the way that I've run this channel is just the commitment to it, though minimal. <laughs> I've just, uh, I've kind of documented a variety of time periods in my own life. Just thinking about, you know, I've been not related to this game, but doing Noel the Mortal Fate for such a long time, and that game has literally spanned all years of my graduate studies thus far. Like, I've been carrying that series for as long as I've been pursuing a doctorate, and to me that's just incredible. The <laughs> The things that I talk about back then versus now and my completely inconsistent video editing, I think, are almost like a time capsule for myself. It's weird. What is it? Do you have something to discuss? Nope, nothing in particular. <laughs> oh, even it's not to talk things out. Feel free to spend time here. That's what this place is for. Oh, they have a very present counselor. That's excellent. Infirmary. Do you need something? Are you feeling unwell? No, I'm bursting with energy. Then get out. My, that's good to hear. But girls who aren't well might come visit, so please, just come again when you need me. Hmm. Oh wait, classrooms one. Weird that they have, like, restrooms by, by year. The entrance. Huh. Look at that. Which way did I come in? So then, where is that? Oh, it just all goes to the entrance. So clearly I haven't done something that I need to do. The cafeteria. Man, what's the, what's the food like here, actually? Ah, oh, it's Ui. Did you come by for a snack? No, I'm busy with club work right now. Oh, come get a treat later then. Oh, you bet. I think I deserve a little treat. I've done literally nothing, but I definitely deserve a treat. I'm just the epitome of the $7 latte treat boy now. That's where I've ended up in life. You have nothing more to say to me. Library. No, go back in. My, it's Miss Abe, out on club business? Oh, something like that. We we're very, uh, disheartened. Looks like the literary club. I'd just be bothered them, bothering them. Oh, uh, let me know in the comments what clubs you were involved in in high school. I was in something that I did not end up pursuing at all. I participated in Future Business Leaders of America. FBLA. And then I ended up in the life sciences, which has very little to do with business, at least in the the way I'm pursuing it, in the research sciences. We have any, we have any speech and debate people here? We have any drama people in, watching this in the comments? Let me know. I did speech and debate at a younger age, but never continued it into high school. So... Man, how do we get into the room? Janitor Fujimura. Yeah, because the to-do list is go talk to Fujimura in the staff room. But I can't get in. Um, I mean, really, what's left? He's not hiding back here anywhere, is he? It is 12.10. I feel like I talked to everyone that I could, so... 
What is happening now? I even talked to those two. Let's have a quick wander. Okay, I just blanked on your name, but like, what's your name? Abe. Akari. Akari's got that, look at that, the oversized hoodie moves when she walks. I just noticed that. Check it out, see that? Like a little, the hood bounces. That's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. Yeah, like, what, what's left? I guess this is also the, the class structure where I suppose you just sit in the same room and you're taught by rotating teachers, which I haven't... I don't think I've ever experienced that. At least with the rotating teachers, like, elementary school as a kid, I had the same teacher all day, so... That didn't really matter. Oh, janitors! Oh, <sighs> don't... Alright. Hmm? Do you need something? Uh, Mr. Fujimura, you were the first one to see Shiori Natsume's corpse, right? Yes, that's right. I always do my rounds at the school at 6.30 in the morning and 7 at night. So when I went to check by the tennis court, I found that girl collapsed and bloody, so I rushed to report it to the police. I felt terrible about her. To think she had to die so young while an old coot like me gets to live long. You two be careful too. Talk to someone if you're feeling trouble. There's no use in brooding by yourself. That's words for everyone in the audience too, just in case. Of course, we'll be fine there. Here's the update. 6 30. Oh, tennis court. Well, that's our next progression, I presume. Oh, can we read the paper on his desk? No. Ah. Uh, well, that's a very. very ominous. What happened there? How long are you gonna lie there, pretending to be a corpse? Sorry, I have an iced coffee on this side that I'm very excited for. And my water bottle. I'm putting myself in Natsume's shoes, don't disturb me. Requiesce gotten pace. Just before Natsume died here, what must she have been thinking? Oh, that's a typo, isn't it? What was she feeling? Is it? Was, was she feeling? Hmm. <laughs> Dumbass. No point in thinking about how the dead feel. Hey, there's a point. Maybe some remnant of Natsume's resentment that was left here. So by lying down, I might understand. You think a spiritual approach like that is going to tell you anything? There's better ways to investigate. This is where it happened, after all. Well, do you have anything, Akari? Yeah, I would go look at the, the hedges behind us. Nope, just confirm what I already knew. Here's an article from the web. It's about Natsume. <laughs> Huh? For real? What's it say? Early on the 20th, at Cosmos Girls Academy Miyairi, Tawaki Prefecture, student Shiori Natsume was found dead by staff. Natsume's body suffered massive trauma and was confirmed dead at a hospital. Prefecture police are investigating, suspecting a fall from the rooftop. So yeah, that's basically it. All about, about all we can say with certainty right now is here in this article. Whoa, so there was an article. Guess there would have to be a source if suicide rumors are spreading, huh? I mean, all the teachers told us was that Natsume was dead. So maybe someone read the article and proposed it was suicide? Isn't it weird? Isn't what weird? The rumor Natsume jumped off the roof. I've been wondering since I heard it, but ain't the rooftop off limits? What was an honor student princess like Natsume doing breaking the rules and going up to the roof? Come to think of it, you're right. Does that article say anything else? Nope, I checked some other articles, but it's basically all the same stuff. Right, sure enough, I want more details about back when Natsume was discovered. The principal talked with the cops, yeah, according to Bottles. Alright, then let's get moving and try talking with the principal. GLHF. Okay. I want to have a little look-see. I feel like if anything fell out of her pockets or whatnot, dropped anything, it'd be around here. Hmm. Oh, this is quite a place. A glass table. Hey, don't go look through my shelves without permission. Oh, you know it. 
Mr. Principal, do you have a second? Yes, what is it? Do you have anything like a police report about Shiori Natsume's death? I'd like to ask about it. Now see here, uh, and you're Aoi Ue from Class 2A. Right, Miss Ue, I've got to get my things ready for a meeting. Could I have you leave? And will you talk with me once your meeting's over? No, no, there's nothing to tell you. Go on, out with you. I have a meeting with the teachers at four. Ooh. I'm totally gonna go through stuff. It's eavesdropping time. Ugh, what the heck? Come on, you can tell me. That obviously wasn't gonna work. Even a teacher like Bottles didn't hear any details. But I'd sure like to see the findings of a professional investigation. Maybe we could fish around the office while he's out at his meeting? I only caught a glimpse, but the shelves and stuff all seem locked. Even if there are papers in there, how are you gonna open them? Yeah, true. What to do? Guess we should take a step back and work out a plan. Oh, planning time. Are we gonna scheme in front of bottles here? I keep trying to go to my home, you know, the biology lab. Hey, Bottles, the principal wouldn't tell us anything. Yeah, no duh. Abe, you really do need to keep away here and check. Don't treat me like your guardian, okay? Anyways, Bottles, I hear you've got a meeting at four. Whoops, yeah, I sure do. That's in 30 minutes. Maybe I'll get some tea from the store first. Take it you'll be talking about Natsume at that meeting, too? Hmm? Well, sure, I do get regular reports, still. Don't know any details, and it's nothing I can do anything about. Alright, I'm going to the store. Don't get up to anything weird, you. Oh, we're gonna do something so weird. Hmm, what to do? Let's hurry, Oi. Eh? Alright, I better get things in order. What's the matter? There's a weirdo at the gate. He might be up to something. Please hold on, I'll be right there. Oh, look at that. Distraction. Oh, I forgot to save! I'm in. Alright, let's find that police report. Don't know where it would be, so I'll just start feeling around. Oh, but Akari did tell me to check on top of the desk and to take care of it in three minutes. Here goes. Oh, two minutes. Ooh, snap. Lockbox, man. I'm telling you, it's always in the lock. Oops. I did not read that. A key. Key obtained. Plum kombucha. Weird. One open. Okay. Go faster. Okay. What's this? Uh, Tawaki Prefecture Police Report on Death of Shiori Natsume. This is it. All right, put the key back and run. Sorry, I thought it was a creepy stranger, but it was Mr. Mukoda. Why, you? Mr. Mukoda, we're having a meeting soon. Where are you about to go? Um, to buy some tea at the store. Couldn't you just get some from the vending machines on campus? Uh, well, I wanted to go for a walk for a change of base. Don't be bumbling around off campus while you're on the job. Not to mention that slovenly appearance of yours making you be mistaken for a stranger. Unbelievable. Just don't be late for the meeting. What did you two do that for? Why am I getting chewed out? What did I do? My bad, Bottle. See your real help. Oh, look at that. So smug. Hey, I found the police investigation report. I took pics. Huh? What are you two doing? How'd you find it that quickly? I mean, you told us you'd be talking about Natsume at the meeting, which meant he'd need to have prepared documents for that. And we went to visit earlier, the principal was reviewing some papers. Thought maybe he might review the stuff from the cops, too. Just like you said, Akari, the key to the cabinet was right there on the desk. So I opened the drawer, and there the papers were. Listen, don't use me like this again. Don't slander us. It's not like we asked you to do anything, did we, Bottles? That way you'd play dumb. You didn't know anything, Bottles. Great, huh? Very, very pragmatic approach. You little devils. That's so mean. Poor Bottles. I feel for the man, you know. Okay, let's read these materials we got. <laughs> I'm gonna be so wired for 
the rest of this let's play. This is a, a Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk, so be bouncing off the walls in no time. At 6.40 a.m. on September 20th, Shozo Fujimura, janitor at Cosmos Girls Academy, and doing rounds of the school, discovered second-year sh student Shiori Natsume lying face up to the side of the tennis court. Uh, let's see. Okay, before we continue. When we were doing this, o Oi was laying face down, right? If you jumped face forward, presumably that's how you would land. To be found face up... She might have been pushed. After checking the victim's purse and calling to her to no response, he contacted the police and hospital, as well as the school senior high headmaster, Shigeharu Uchida. At, at 7 p.m.? What? At 7 p.m., police and an ambulance arrived and transported Natsume to a city hospital, where she was confirmed deceased. At 8 p.m., Shiori Natsume's mother and father confirmed her identity. By decision of the police and headmaster, the school was closed, and all students and faculty were advised to stay inside. And they called a shelter in place there. Cause of death, heavy trauma after falling from roof. Estimated time of death between 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. on 9-19. The school's rooftop is off limits, but at the time of the incident, the door to the roof had been damaged and was not locked. Damage was considered as being afflicted some months prior, but exact timing is unclear. Natsume's entry into the building is believed to be through the window of the one-floor auditorium. Clothing and time of discovery, black, card par black cardigan... <laughs> White blouse, pink skirt, black tights, red pumps. Didn't pay attention to that. Belongings on the scene. School bag, wallet, commuter pass, smartphone, handkerchief, tissues, cosmetic pouch, pencil box. Smartphone retained social media exchanges with family, fellow students, and others, but no references were found to an explanation for Natsume's trespass onto the rooftop. Hmm? So the door to the rooftop was busted and unlocked the whole time? Seems that way. I was so sure you couldn't get up there, but this would mean you actually could since a few months ago. Alright, let's see if we can go there or not. Interesting. The plot thickens. Let's go ahead and take a look at her phone. Nothing new. I'm actually... <laughs> A little curious. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to be sneaky about it. October 15th, 2013 was not a Monday. That's okay. I'm just being... Being a little nitpicky here. Uh, actually, I didn't even look at my cell phone for the point that I wanted to check the door to the rooftop. That was not the rooftop. Yeah, this... I probably could have... Oh boy. Could have tried and been a CSI if I really, really was pushing it, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well you got colored hair, so you must be important to the plot. That girl, she seemed kind of familiar. Someone from 2D, I think. No need to go and run off, because she was crying in secret. Maybe so. Okay, our turn. Hmm, sure enough, it's locked tight. Guess they fixed the broken door after the incident, then. I'd like to get out onto the rooftop. Hey, who do you think is in charge of the key to this door? I got no idea. Ah, oh, well. We learned the gist of the case, so let's call today's investigation here. I'll think about what to try tomorrow. Sure thing. So, what are we getting up to today? Oh, time skip. I've been thinking about it, and I definitely want to investigate the rooftop where the incident happened. So today, I think I'd like to find some way to go to the roof. What, you gonna bust down the door? Surely not. I'd imagine one of the teachers or Mr. Fujimura is in charge of the roof key. Let's check that first. Updated your to-do list. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bottles. Happen to know who's in charge of the key to the rooftop? Oh, shut up. I hate you guys. Still mad? Come on, you're always getting scoldings from the principal. You must be used to it, right? <laughs> Sorry, bottles. I'll be sure not to get you involved again. You know how Oi doesn't listen to what anyone says, yeah? She might go do something rash if we leave her be. 
Won't you help for my sake as the one who looks after her? I'll keep her from bothering you again, Bottles. He's thinking about it. What I'm about to say is just me talking to myself. Whoever might happen over here, it's got nothing to do with me. The key to unused rooms are rotated between each grade head's teachers. This month, I think it was the second year's life coach and head teacher. Head teacher, life coach, who's that again? Kageyama, damn it! You guys' homeroom teacher! <laughs> ah, that was it. Thanks, Bottles. <laughs> thanks for the... Thanks for the tip. Okay, but it's the bio lab. Are we both 2A? I can't remember. I thought we were two different class. No, we're not. We must be both in the same, because we were in the same classroom. Huda. Oh, everyone's got... Nope, nope. Not everyone has new gossip. I like this. This is a very ingenious way to use Wolf RPG, I think, is the engine. Hold your horses, Oi. Are you just planning to blindly charge a Kageyama? Huh? I mean, yes. You don't think being like, I want to go to the rooftop, please lend me the key, is actually going to work, do you? Especially after someone fell and died. Uh, then what should I do? We're in luck that it's our homeroom second- our homeroom teacher, Kageyama, who has the key. Let me your ear for a sec, madam. What's this now? Mr. Kageyama, I want to talk for a bit. Is that okay? Hmm? What is it? It's a little bit. I don't really want people to overhear, so could you come out to the hallway? Ooh, we're so sneaky. Nice one, Akari. Alright, here goes. I'll sneak over to Kage Kageyama's desk and nab the key to the rooftop. Beware of scary teachers. Did you drop something? Should I look with you? No, that's fine. Don't concern yourself. Oh, we got caught. That was it. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's do this thing. Hey, what are you snooping around? Okay, wait. How do I do this? That dude did not care at all. Is it inside a drawer? Gotta search quick. Oh man, getting out's gonna be harder. Whoops. Hmm? Oh wait, what are you doing over there? Hey, oh wait, we got caught. Oh, getting out is the hard part, isn't it? Why are, like, 50% of the teachers in the school scary, huh? Oh wait, we got caught again. Oh, we gotta think about our exit strategy for this one, because we can't come out the way we came, that's where this dude re-enters from. Okay, that was just a found it message. Oh, that dude was on the phone. Fifth try. Whew, I was sweating there. I was glad I was I'm glad I was able to get it okay. So, when are you going to use that exactly? Huh? Why not right now? 
Could be fine, but there's lots of classrooms being used by clubs on the way to the rooftop. The art room, the music room. If we're seen going onto the roof, things are gonna get real annoying. It'll be better to go sometime when there's nobody watching. Hmm, you make a good point. Alright, then let's be bold and carry out a grand nighttime stratagem. We'll go home, then infiltrate at night. A little too bold, don't you think? If you want to go at night, you could just not go home and hide somewhere. What? But Mom said we're having fried chicken for dinner tonight. It'd be better to have food first. Such admirable journalism. Look, no, there's other reasons. Remember the police report? It said Natsume snuck in through the window in the auditorium. While we're at it, I want to try recreating Natsume's route. Even around the same time, if possible. To that end, let's go investigate! Did the point, too, even though you couldn't see it. Oh yeah, we're just gonna go mosey on over to the, the room, aren't we? Auditorium. What was the A key? Natsume's entry into the building is believed to be through the window of the first floor auditorium. That would be here. If we were recreating Natsume's route, you're saying we sneak in through here at night and go to the rooftop? Yep, let's unlock it while we're here. Do you think we can? I wonder. Considering the Natsume incident, wouldn't there be extra attention on it? That's true. By now it might be impossible to perfectly recreate Natsume's route. I'd at least like to secure a similar entry route. Are there any good places for that? I can think of one. For real? Tell me. Thinking about think about it yourself a little. You've had me doing all the brain racking since yesterday. <laughs> Alright, fine. Can I get a hint at least? First floor, small window. A place not being used for clubs today. That's it. That's tough. Well, I'll get searching. Okay, well. I'm gonna assume that the to-do list is gonna tell me to find the entry route. Okay. I swear that like fire extinguisher is turning red as I move back and forth. Or the label is turning red, so. There ain't nobody in here. First floor, small window, a place not being used for clubs today. This could this be it? Bingo. You know, this does seem easy to get in. They're small, low windows, so people might not even notice if one's unlocked. Can't say that for certain, though. How about a little something extra to make doubly sure? What would that be? I'll save the details for later, but how would you go about making sure this gym doesn't get used, that no one goes inside? Um, wouldn't you just lock the door? You don't even have to lock it. Just use something around here. Give it a go. A mob? Ah! We're gonna jam the door. How about using this to bar the door? That's it. It's a single sliding door, so this prevents it from being opened from outside. So this will stop anyone from checking, but wouldn't they find it strange if they came to check the gym door? If they came to check the gym and the door wouldn't open? And what if there is a reason they didn't have to check it and didn't go inside? Would they try to pry it open then? Mm hmm Okay, time for a review. Who does patrols around the school? Talking to him, or was that a rhetorical question? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a little Mr. Detective. Need something? Uh, you see, it's about the gym. Our class had PE in the gym for sixth period, and since no clubs planned to use it today, the teacher locked it after class. He also locked the windows, so you shouldn't have to do your rounds today or tomorrow morning. We were told to let you know, Mr. Fujimura. Ah, is that right? Thanks for going out of your way. I appreciate the time saver. Easy. We lied to Mr. Fujimura, who always seems so nice. I feel kind of guilty. It's not a huge lie, it's fine. If you don't like it, why not give up, Miss Trespasser? I'll do it, I'll do it! Alright, so we'll meet up in front of the gate at 9 tonight. Aw, oh, sneaking mission! I'm gonna be so bad at it. <clears throat> you mocked the art of infiltration, what's with the getup? Do you come from home wearing that? No, I just changed it earlier. <laughs> Come on, a tracksuit. It just doesn't fit the mood, and after I nailed it perfectly. Now hold on, this isn't the final form. Give me a sec. Oh, she's just gonna put the hood up. They're perfect. 
Nice! Okay, let's go. Ooh, it's open, it's open. Mr. Fujimura is so honest. Alright, well then, let the mission begin. Let's go to the rooftop. Um, Akari? It only just occurred to me, but I'm actually not good with ghosts and stuff. Yeah, the creepy piano music isn't doing a whole lot for that. Let's get going already. Follow me. Hearts? Yo, let's, let's get haunted so bad. Oh, whoops. That was a stupid idea. I was gonna go play like a... Oh, what's it called? Like, Tori Kakarenbo, whatever. One person hide and seek. AXT. What? That sound! Bottles left his laptop on again, huh? It's old, so it makes weird noises. Whoops. I might have accidentally screwed this by psyching her out before. Hey, stop it! Uh, sorry, it's kind of dusty. I can't take it, I'm too scared, I'm going home. Oh, come on, man. Live a little. The sneaking suit. It's here, right? Oh, it totally is. I can see where Natsume's body was. So she fell from here down to there. It hurts even just imagining it. Oh, Amitaba. Hey, Aoi. What? Why are you so invested in Natsume's death? You weren't friends or anything, right? I told you, didn't I? It didn't sit right with me. Sure, I wasn't friends with Natsume, but she was the school's idol, you know? Pretty, rich, smart. Everyone looked up to her. If, if a girl like that came to loathe life and choose death, and chose death, it kind of makes me wonder, why might, what might happen to me? There goes my reading comprehension skill. Seriously. It's kind of like, if a lower middle class girl with no redeeming qualities like me is still alive, why'd you kill yourself? Maybe subconsciously I did feel some aspiration towards Natsume. Believe it or not, I was pretty shocked. So I want to know why she died, you know? Whether it was really suicide or not. As it stands, it just doesn't make sense. In other words, you're thinking it's inconceivable a person as blessed as Natsume would kill herself. I like to think that, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> so by the way, I'm gonna die now. Um. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I'm gonna jump from here and die. What are you talking about? That's dangerous. Stop, seriously. Say I were to say I were to do something like that and kill myself, would you know why I did it? Huh? Not a chance. I'm sure people around me would go, she didn't seem like the kind to kill herself, but then maybe there was something troubling her. No one can possibly understand the depths of another's mind. Just going in for a peek isn't enough to allow for perfect comprehension. In the end, you have to just you just have to be satisfied slotting in whatever reality suits you. But that's not the real reality. You can't know the reality anyhow, and can't well search the heart of every single stranger. That's how you gotta think. Maybe died. Maybe Natsume died for a reason you won't find satisfaction with. Do you still want to investigate it, even if that might be the result? Even if it means your idol falling off her pedestal and crumbling, do you want to know the truth? I'm not entirely following, but basically you're saying you're opposed to this investigation, Akari? 
Wrong. I might think it's futile, but you don't think so, do you, are you? How are you? In which case, I'll assist. I do like you and all, and I want to see you doing as you please, and it's been boring lately anyhow. That said, I've got no interest in the truth about Natsume, so you'll have to take the lead. Okay, got it. Just leave it to me. How have neither of them caught on to the directionality thing yet? This side faces the tennis court. How is Natsume found again? I should give it another check. Oh, I gotta read the police report. Ooh, come on. Was that enough? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Natsume was in casual clothes, carrying her bag, fell from here, and then was lying face up. Huh? Isn't there something strange there? Akari, you feign jumping off, right? If you had jumped like that facing forward, you wouldn't land face up, would you? That's true, unless you purposely face backwards or happen to spin around in just the right way while falling. So, there's a possibility that she was pushed and fell while facing this way? The idea that she was leaning back on the fence and slipped and fell is hard to imagine with how low it is. Your idea might be more probable. But the police report didn't mention any signs of a struggle. If she were pushed from the front, you'd expect some resistance, yeah? I see. So it was someone that she knew! Ah! Her bag, her bag. The police report mentioned Natsume's school bag was found where she landed, right? I feel like I've heard this song somewhere. But I can't remember where. Weird. Jumping from the roof to kill yourself while carrying a bag, wouldn't that be strange? Also, school bags can be pretty heavy, can't they? If she was pushed while carrying it, maybe she didn't have time to resist. Feeling like you're thinking solely in a direction that suits your hypothesis, but I'll admit that it'd be strange if it were plain old suicide. Hmm, I'm starting to see more and more possibilities that weren't suicide. I'll need to investigate more. So, what's up next? Home time. If you get right down to it, we don't know why Natsume came to the roof at night in the first place. To settle that mystery and more, I think there's a need to know what kind of person Natsume was. She was called by someone she knew. And also, was Natsume really alone? If it wasn't suicide, we need to consider the possibility someone was with her. So starting tomorrow, I think we should establish who Natsume was and who was connected to her. Which would mean lots of asking around, Natsume's classmates, club friends, and her family too. Alright, tomorrow I'm gonna get fired up! Oh boy, here we go. Good morning, Mr. Kageyama. Ah, uh, morning. Something you wanted to discuss again? No, not that. You're the basketball team advisor, yes? Did they have practice this morning? Right, they did. The gym was left unlocked, wasn't it? Hmm? You knew about that? Mr. Fujimura asked me to tell you since I'm in your class. He forgot to lock it yesterday while patrolling and wanted to apologize. Ah, is that what happened? I was thinking I'd go tell Fujimura later. Thanks for being the messenger. Not a problem. Well then. Huh? Mr. Kageyama, it looks like someone dropped something. Is this key yours? Ah, what's that doing there? Maybe it fell out when I was fishing through a drawer? Thanks for that, Abe. I haven't been chewed out, chewed out if I lost that. You should be careful. It'd be terrible if someone misused it. Dun dun dun. So that's how it went. You should at least think about the follow-up. Why do I have to do it? Aha, I'd completely forgotten about giving the key back, but that's my car. You always with the plan. Thank you. Hey, Bottles, are you proud of us? All right, now let's get to questioning. The most likely to have useful info would probably be girls in our grade and girls in the same club as Natsume. Let's try starting there. And what club was she in exactly? You've entered interview mode. The sub key can change topics to turn interviewing off. Oh. Ooh, this just got. Oops. Oh well. I am actually gonna go play with pedestals real quick. Well, nothing seems to have changed yet, so we're just going to go ahead and get back in the game. 
some key. Did I turn on sticky key? Whoops, I moved the recording window. Oh boy, I really messed it up. Uh, can I? Okay, I'm still on high spec. I didn't know you could change the quality of this game, which was very impressive to me. Right, well, I messed that up. All right, we're just gonna have to roll with it. I'll figure something out. I think I did turn on sticky keys. On these back issues of the school paper, there's an article with the photo of Natsume. Oh, that's from when the orchestra club won this national summer competition. The girl next to Natsume, Miyuki Endo, was it? That's right, Miyuki from 3A, the head of the orchestra club. You know her? Well, we're both library assistants. You totally left club head Miyuki in the dust here to give Natsume a close-up. Good looks for a prettier picture, huh? That's not it! I mean, it's just that I heard that Natsume had become the... Concern master, was it? Concert mistress. Right, that's it. That makes her kind of like the captain, so close-up made sense is all. Oh, we did that. Uh, what was Shiori Natsume like? Who knows? About all I can say is she was pretty and had good grades. Also rich, I think? If I were ten years younger. Well, too late now, either way. You can't say that, Bottles! That's illegal! Whether or not it's too late or too early, I doubt she'd entertain that idea of you, Bottles. The idea of you. Hey now, Oi. You don't say things like that, you just think them. Man, I hate you too. Oh, come to think of it, I feel like I heard she had a little sister. Don't know if she goes here, though. Alright, that was all we can get from him. Let me into the biology lab, I wanna go. Oh, wait, we can interview the librarian. Hmm, Hatsume. She visited a few times, so I know her face and name, but I don't know any details. Come to think of it, she often came to take out opera CDs with a girl from the orchestra club. I stopped seeing her a while ago, though. Okay. That is all we're getting from here. Cafeteria? Neat. Natsume. She ate lunch here on occasion. She was always elegant and polite. She told me my special cookies were delicious and often asked for them. It's really a shame. I don't know if it's right to say they're connected, but I once saw her walking with a cat hag. I was shocked I was. Cat hag? You mean that old lady who lives behind the school? I've never seen her, but she's infamous as a real oddball. That's her. She feeds stray cats and keeps loads at home. She can't properly control them, so she tends to butt up against the locals and get scolded by City Hall. Natsume did like cats, so maybe she couldn't stand to watch the cat hag and was helping her out? Hearsay updated. Alright, that's all we had here, I suppose. Hearsay. Shiori Natsume interacted with a local oddball, the cat hag. Oh, what, what's the quote from Deus Ex? Human revolution, you can't unring the bell. Oh, here comes a cutscene. That, that had cutscene vibes. The orchestra club's busy practicing. Hearing such refined music, it's clear why they're veterans at the national competition. I'd like to ask the members of the orchestra club about Natsume, but maybe I'll wait until pra practice is over? Ugh, annoying. Let's just do it some other time. I could not place the song, but also I was never one for orchestra. Oh, that, that girl isn't here. I like music, but I cannot generate or play music. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What's some cool stuff to go look at? Oh wait, we're not gonna get an answer out of you, but this would be such a fun ask. Knew it. 
I'm sorry, I can't discuss someone who consulted with me. It's a counselor's job to protect secrets, not to mention when they're deceased. Huh? Did Natsume come here to discuss something with you, miss? Uh, please pretend you didn't hear anything. I'm curious what it was they discussed, but I doubt she'd tell me. Okay. It seems she has a younger sister. I think I heard she's a first year. Cool. Slowly narrowing down the focus. Natsume never really came to the infirmary. She was popular, so I know her name, but sorry I can't be of any help. There's someone named Natsume on the health committee. Do you think she could be connected? That was very useful. First year on the health committee? That's great info. Miss Natsume, eh? She often helped me while I did my work. She was a fine lady. Say, you know that stray cat behind the school? I often saw her feeding it. She must have loved cats. Actually, I forgot when it was, but I saw her crying while feeding a cat once. She was crying while feeding a cat? I asked what was up, but she said it was fine. She was fine. I thought I shouldn't dig too deep and let it pass, but I wonder if something sad happened to her. Okay, one more. You mean family and friends. Terribly sorry, but I, I don't know. That's all right. We got we got like three pieces of juicy gossip from that, right? The crying while feeding cat, cat hag, and discuss something with the counselor. Some fantastic details. I'm gonna assume that these fellows are still yep doing your thing. Okay. Oh, this is where the good gossip comes in, yeah? Bathroom talk? Natsume, huh? Not my class, so I don't really know. She was totally popular, though. People said- People say she was pretty or smart, but I think the best thing about Shiori was her personality. Why'd she have to die? Don't know about that, but I bet she had a boyfriend, right? She was pretty and all. I'm sure she had a little sister, because we talked about each other's little sisters once. Didn't ask her name, though. Alright, that was not a layer of information that was useful. Oh, there's gonna be so many interviews. What, we got 16? Four per room? Four rooms? Uh, she already passed. Okay, I'm just gonna... Taboo. Uh, well, yeah, she's a classmate who died. I guess you wouldn't want to talk. No, I don't really mind talking, just there's some girls who overreact to Shiori, getting mad at you like, don't bring her up, so it's just a hassle. Are those friends of Natsume's? Maybe they still haven't gotten over her death. Who could say? They weren't especially friendly with Shiori, but I wonder what the deal is. Uh, do sort of no, won't share, connected, okay. I don't really have a recollection of this, because something similar happened to me Actually, right, right about this kind of time, I think, is probably, it's so weird that we're approximately, we were approximately at the same time, like myself and the game, but for me, it was about, oh man, it's September in this game, wait, I can answer this question. Oh, uh, it was like... I don't know, five months later, something like that happened in the school I was at as well, so... It wasn't a terribly unfamiliar scenario, but I really don't have a recollection of... I, there was a general sense of sadness, obviously, but... I don't think we had... it wasn't like a, oh, the social circles of the school are fighting kind of a thing. I think... When you're, when you're at that age, you are... You already have a pretty decent comprehension of what exactly it means to undergo that kind of a loss. And I think multiple losses in the same time frame definitely hit harder. Because I think that year, one person from my year passed away and then someone else did from a younger grade as well, all within the same like 12 month window. So it was, uh, it was quite a time. So this game is actually not entirely I guess, uh... I can't think of the negative word for representative, but it holds true in certain cases, I suppose. Shiori? Why are you looking at that? At any rate, I've got nothing to tell you. Oh, you don't talk to the feds, huh? Got thoughts, don't want to say them. Wasn't she often with Midori? Haha. 
Haha, <laughs> Kiki. Uh, don't know the girls in other classes, huh? She's not in a club either and doesn't stand out much. That's the first I'm hearing that name. Was she friendly with Natsume? Yeah, yeah, but it might be best not to talk to her. It's kind of a hassle. A hassle? Is she a handful or something? Nah, she seems kind of harmless, but lately it's kind of... Okay. People connect to her. That's kind of broad. Ask around. Okay. Thanks for nothing. Let us go. Actually, let's check out the people tab on our phone. A friend. 2D. What was I just in? I was in 2D. What? Uh, I'm gonna start going a bit faster now. Not sure what she was like. I have a feeling she was nice. Okay. Yabe. Natsume was the sort of girl who everyone liked, though there were also some who didn't like that and considered her an enemy. Hmm? Is that so? Yep, a few girls in her class, so I wouldn't bring up the topic of Natsume too much. Oh, but they aren't here right now. Cool. Uh, connections, relatives, don't know. Uh, gloomy one, that's okay. You got a name already, so I'll take it. Kind of like a princess, hit with teachers, why do you suppose she killed herself? Stunned when I heard she died, maybe it was suicide. Couldn't say, lots of friends. Ah, girl who is biased against- I don't know if I could call her connected, but there's a girl who is biased against Natsume. Or rather, who saw her as a rival in our class. Oh, tell me more, please. Her name's Kana Murakami. I don't think she was any club, do you know her? Oh, could that be the girl who mo models for that magazine? Uh, core teen? <laughs> Flashy with blonde hair. Yeah, she wouldn't badmouth Natsume with her friends. I always thought it was kind of nasty. Keep it a secret that I told you that, okay? Can do. Let us take a look. I like that we have their profile, so like, you know, the person with the real, like, voluminous hair plus blonde. Okay. This stuff is so wild, like, come on y'all, you're like 17. I feel like after all these years, like, these years mean so little in the context of things that I don't long for them. Natsume is a pretty real Japanese beauty, sure. I put, she played violin since she was little. I don't know stuff about music, but she seems super good, enough to shoot for a music college or something. What does the orange stand for again? Info about people. Music college. A uh, girl she was always with, don't remember her. Girls in orchestra club. Alright, you two. Not sure, top three, smart, smart. Super rich, average school. Uh, her little sister Sakura. Oh, you know her? Tell me, tell me. Uh, so, Sakura Natsume? I think she was on the tennis team in class 1C. She's small and cute like you, Aoichi. Helpful. Are we holding our phone? Are we just walking around with our phone in front of us? Is that what that is? I feel like there's somebody in another class who didn't get along with Natsume, but I don't remember. Did I get everyone? No, I did not. Pretty, face of an actress, different way from that model girl in 2C, waste that she died. Oh, 2C. I wonder if the rumor it was suicide is true. Sure, she seemed in low spirits for the past few months, but to think she'd die. In low spirits? Why do you think that? We used the same train station, so I saw her there often. When she was alone, she always hung her head gloomily. At school, she was as cheery as ever, but she must have been forcing herself around others. Ooh, the deets. The tea! Was she friendly with her senior in the orchestra club, saw them at the library sometimes. Don't know, couldn't tell you. Okay. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm a Mia. Uh, she felt like the ideal good kid, you know, always putting on a smile. I don't really know, we weren't really friends or anything. Connections. What? Oh, that reminds me, did you know? Natsume had a fiancé. Rich people, am I right? What? Fiancé? What the? His name's Sumikazu ya Yasuoka, a second year at Iris Academy. 
I met him at the Iris Academy Cultures Festival. But what was he like? Kinda normal, really. He didn't really strike me as cool or hot, but I'm betting he's rich. His financial move? Dunno, ask people in her class. Well, thanks for nothing. Cell phone. A little sister. Fiance. That's some wild stuff. Can we go here? Class 1C. No? I feel like that- I thought that was the opening to something by LMFAO. <laughs> oh, what was it? Oh, the dance team. I hope that wasn't copyrighted, jeez. Okay. Have we exhausted everyone? I believe so. All the antagonistic people aren't around, so... We already did these. Hmm. Oh, the orchestra- oh wait, no. No good. That girl with green hair is in here again. Where to now? Back here? Debrief? No. We've already been in here. Mm, what to do? Oh, the entrance way. Wait, wait, wait. Where's that? Where was that? <laughs> I can't remember. Aha. No people around here? Really? Who am I forgetting? Man, I feel like the field is going to be the site of the final confrontation. You can't tease me with the field and not have something happen with it. Am I forgetting one of these classrooms? I feel like I was pretty thorough in here. Oh wait, 2C. Maybe someone showed up again. No? Oh wait, I gotta- do I conclude? I feel like that was everyone. Oh, that's so many leads. Her sister, Sakura Natsume. Her friend, Midori Hahakigi. Her fiancé, Sumikazu Yasuoka. Kana Murakami, who saw her as a rival. Miyuki Endo, orchestra club senior. That's so many leads, man! 
All right, I've uncovered quite a bit about people connected to her. I'd like more info on Natsume herself, but maybe I'll start to see the picture if I investigate into those people. So what's next? Can I go home now? Don't you dare! Next up, voila! I'd like to question people about Sakura Natsume. After all, she is family, surely the closest to the victim, right? If we focus on Sakura, we'll naturally solidify an image of Shiori Natsume. I see. So who are you going to ask? Sakura is a first year and also part of the tennis team, so probably people along those lines. Also, I'd like to talk to Sakura herself. Investigation mode part two. Wow, okay, this is gonna... We're gonna have to mosey for a bit. Sakura, don't know her. She may be sister. Okay, we're going, we're going fast. Oh, is this one, one question this time? Easy. I wonder if, like, me not being thorough with investigation could lock me out of things. Oh, special cookies. I feel like that is a metric. Like, we have to ask the right people the right questions or we get locked out of things. You know, I don't know. First year, second and third. I'm gonna keep checking here, because I feel like that green-haired girl is going to show up again in something. Hey, you, we got questions. Cute and tiny girl, no clue about personality. Uh, not sure what it is, but she has a soothing aura. I'm sure she must have lots of friends. Okay. You know what, I'll look at that later. Can't be bothered. Oh my god. Sakura, was it? She's not in my class, so I'm not sure. Well, sure. Uh, we're not especially close, so yeah, we'll say nothing like a big sister. Sister being too amazing. Living in her sister's shadow. Uh, I don't think Sakura got along very well with her sister. I mean, she would hide if she saw a sister at school, trying not to get involved. Really? I guess said sister was a celebrity. Maybe she didn't want the attention. Yo, wait. Is there something about inheritance here? Was she going to inherit the company? Or I guess, well... If she was married to someone who is probably rich, then that's probably Empire continuation, right? Sakura is generally a good girl, but she gets a little scary when it comes to her parents. She was like, and what about them? Maybe she doesn't get along well with them. Hmm, typical rebellion, maybe. Nah. That might not be it. Oh, on the tennis team, doesn't stand out. Oh, here we go. Sakura sometimes talks at health committee meetings, and she's got a diligent personality. She's polite, so the teachers like her. Seems she's a little stubborn, too, though. Okay. Well, we just got traits. I mean... We need something concrete to work on. I, why don't we look into the, the cat hag or whatever <laughs> that, woman's, that poor woman's name was? There is no one in here. Oh, the janitor. Uh, okay. You didn't know anything. Health committee, normal girl. Uh, first year, don't know anything. Okay, well, tennis time it is. Oh, wait, why? Let me out. Oh, whew, I don't have to ask them. Jeez. I'm about to be very upset if I had to. There's so many people here. Uh, tennis team, don't know. Okay. Sakura's really careful with her words, kind of just like what you would expect from a rich girl. She was like Shiori in that way. Of course, she was harsh towards Shiori. Harsh? How so? She called Shiori a puppet, and it sure didn't sound like a compliment. Though, I mean, Sakura's small and cute, so she's kind of a puppet herself. Oh, welcome to my world. That's painted with sadness. Okay, let's save. Do, 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 do. This profile got real big real fast. Okay. Uh, not sure how to answer what she's like. Regular first year, doesn't stand out. Honest and hard worker, did not get along. Oh! Is that right? Did she say something about Shiori? 
When I asked what she thought of her sister, she said, I hate her. She rarely says anything like that, so I was shocked. Okay, so there's some sibling rivalry going on in here. Worry about Sakura, okay. I mean, sure, after something like that, did she say anything about her sister? Mm -hmm. You know, I've never seen Sakura talk about it or even shed any tears over it. Maybe she just didn't want to worry anyone by doing that in public, but... Ooh, did not did not shed tears for the death of her sibling. Stunning negative review. Uh, first off, she's cute. Big hug, boyfriend. Speaking of boyfriends, it seemed like Sakura didn't think very fondly of Shiori's fiancé. Sumikazu Yasuoka, never mind boyfriend, he was her fiancé. Didn't the family recognize him? About that, she said, I can't trust him. I didn't ask it how exactly she couldn't trust him, though. Could... Oh. Could it be something happened between them? Oh, typo. Does this court continue, or are we... Okay, I'm gonna lap this one more time, but I feel like that's everyone. Where are all the people of interest? None of them are here. I will ask them my damn self. should be everyone. Let me in. Alright, I'm gonna conclude. I think we got a decent amount to work on there. Oh, we concluded here. That's probably enough info gathering. Now to talk to the person herself. Ah, Ue, the first years are back from running. Sakura, second year Ue wants to talk to you. Oh, you gotta have a talk sprite, right? You're famous. Um, did you need something from me? You're Sakura Natsume, correct? Natsume, correct? Good to meet you. I'm a Aoi Ue from the newspaper club, and this is my assistant, Akari Abe. What did you want to talk about? It's during club time, so if possible... It shouldn't take that long. I just wanted to ask about your sister. Uh-oh, she's gonna snap. Oh, she went dark. I hear you didn't get along well with her, like trying to avoid her at school and calling her a puppet. Did something happen with her? Could it have something to do with your- You're really not helping here. Could it have something to do with your parents? You don't get along with them, do you? I also hear you didn't think much of your sister's fiancé, Sumikazu Yasuoka. What do you think of him in actuality? Oh, and about- <laughs> You gotta stop! She's already dead! Oh, and about your sister death, what do you think about it, Sakura? Even if you're on good terms, surely you're sad about it. We're gonna get attacked. I have nothing to say to you. I'm busy, so I'll excuse myself. Wait, wait. Don't be like that now. Just a moment of your... Why should I have to talk to you about things like that? Oh, snap. She's mad. So what if I hated my sister or my parents or Yasuoka? What does that have to do with you? And I don't know anything about my sister's death. I have nothing to tell you. Please leave. Please don't bother about me. Hey, dumbass. <laughs> Akari is just having the worst time. We are just in like the worst situation dragging her along for the ride. I can't believe I'm getting a work email on Sunday afternoon. Right before the holidays, too. She got super mad at me. What do I do? Feels like she won't talk to me now. Of course she wouldn't answer when you ask her that rudely. You really are totally thoughtless. Well, at least there's little doubt she had some resentment for Natsume from the sound of all that. Guess we'll say we learned that much? Yeah, I'll call it there for today. I'll make a fresh start tomorrow. Uh-oh. We done messed up. Hey, Miss Insensitive, gonna, <laughs> gonna not learn your lesson and doggedly investigate again today? Don't call me that. I've done a ton of reflection since then. I won't make the same mistake again. I'll be prudent and careful. So then, today I'll be starting by questioning people about Miyuki Endo. I'm likely to hear about Miyuki from third years and orchestra club members, and yes, I'd like to talk to her in person. You for real? The orchestra club goes super late. We gotta wait around till they're done, or are you gonna charge in during practice? 
Not to worry, I've thought about that part. For now, let's start by questioning people besides the orchestra club. Oh man, this investigation thing is really key to the gameplay right now, isn't it? Oh good, one question. Endo, huh? I taught her class modern day social studies last year, but I don't know what she's like, really. Thanks for nothing. Uh, orchestra club... Yeah, that'd have to be the one. She used to come borrow opera CDs with Natsume. No doubt they used them for the club. Ah, so the two were in good terms. I wonder... I stopped seeing them together as much. Even when they did come together, they seemed distant, as if Endo was avoiding Natsume. Miyuki was avoiding her. Hmm, wonder if something happened between them. Oh, snap! Info. Just being so excited for, like, little tidbits of gossip. I'm like, oh my god, they don't like each other. You work with what you got, you know? I worry that, like, this game is going to be primarily investigation, though. It seems like it's been a lot of that thus far. Hmm, don't know that one. If they don't use the cafeteria, I don't know them. Sorry to say. Very direct. I think we really just are walking around with our phone on. Okay, nothing there yet. Do, do, do. Just doing the rounds. Hmm. Okay, well, we're not welcome there. None of you have anything to say. These people have been practicing forever. Also, what day is it? It is the 18th of Thursday. These people are still shuffling every day. Hmm, I don't know. You know, come to the counseling room, I have no idea, sorry. That was a perfectly recycled dialogue for a negative answer. I sometimes see her at the cafe I frequent, but I don't know any details about her. Sorry. Well, cool. Uh, orchestra club, don't know any details. Alright. Let's do the bathroom first. There's no one- Why are people hanging out in our bathroom? Are they still there? They totally- Why is our bathroom the only one with, uh, with people hanging out in it, huh? Okay, third years. Oh, seniors. The head of the orchestra club, no connection, don't know. Cool. Oh wait, I gotta go all the way around. Well, I've talked with her before, but she doesn't care to hang out with people, it seems. Says it's easier being alone, so she doesn't have to worry. Hmm, maybe she's the Akari type. Akari was like that at first, too. A lone wolf. Uh, Miyuki, how to describe her indeed? I feel like she's always cool-headed. I mean, I've never seen her flustered. Also, I'm not sure how to put it. She's kind of serious and prudent. She considers things carefully, I guess you'd say. Thoughtful! <laughs> Miyuki's aiming to become a pro violinist. I hear she took classes since she was little. Bet she attended here in the first place because we're known for having a great orchestra club. Listen, violins is never the answer. But I'm not really sure, not my class. Ask orchestra. Endo. She's kind of hard to approach. It's just something about her aura. Some do seem friendly with her, but she's often alone. Okay, we get it. She's solitary. Why are you looking at Ento? Uh, whatever. Don't know a thing. No idea. Did we have anyone else? Orchestra? I feel like that's everyone that we had access to this time around. Not that many. Uh, the entrance again, I suppose. Nope, no good. I wonder how long this game is going to take, because there, there must be a reason why we can see the date, right? Because we started on a Monday, and we're already in, let's call it four days in the investigation, yeah? There's got to be some significance to it. You know, I really strongly suspect that that is everyone. 
we're no longer welcome on the tennis court, so... I'm gonna hold C. I wonder if this game has multiple endings. I actually didn't check. The orchestra club's still practicing. I've talked to the third years around, so now I'd like to question the orchestra club members, too. And Miyuki herself, right? She's a third year, so she would have retired from her club by now. Wouldn't she be at home already? Uh-uh-uh. Third years and cultural clubs don't retire until after the November Culture Festival. So Miyuki should be there, too. Hmm. Then we're waiting till they're done? I just want to sit on my ass. But wait, there's more we can do. Behold! Investigation into Sumikazu Yasuoka, Shiori Natsume's fiance. Is there anyone on campus who knows about that guy? Feels like hardly anyone did during your first round of questioning. That's why I like to head out for an attack on Iris Academy. We may learn a bit from his schoolmates, and I'd like to meet the man himself. An attack? Isn't it a boys' school? Infiltrating a boys' school is a bit much, don't you think? We can at least ask people at the gate. If we're lucky, we might meet him too. Though to that end, I'd like to know a bit more about what Yasuoka looks like. Come to think of it, the girl who told us about Yasuoka met him, didn't she? I believe it was the second year. Let's go talk with her again. Going outside at the school. This is starting to feel like more and more of a hassle. <laughs> Just decaying interest from Akari. Okay, back to the second years. This has been... unique so far. Who was the person that met her? I met him, sorry. Uh, school paper was great. Oh, who told us that? <laughs> Hungry. Uh, club. Well, I guess there was no shortage of things for me to do. Club, not association. Club. Club. Wait, what's the saying? Oh, I didn't read it. Kind of calling out bottles for being uh, the advisor. Oh, maybe you can count on social media. Uh, why don't you run this on Snapchat? Why don't you get Google Lens? Was that what... Yeah, was it Google Lens was, like, just coming online around then? Your board, newspaper club... Hey, I'm Mia. You mentioned earlier that you met Shiori Natsume's fiancé once, right? Could you give us a bit more detail about what he looked like? I'm thinking of going to meet him. Huh? Detail is putting a lot of pressure on me. I mean, he really was an average guy. Please, just try to dig a little deeper. How about his hairstyle or clothes? Didn't he have any special features? Uh, he had black hair, and his hair was parted in the middle. I guess maybe his face was kind of girly, too. And he was wearing an Iris Academy uniform. Well, duh. Oh, shoot. I just skipped that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks for your help. Okay, I... Well, let's begin our attack on Iris Academy right away. It's close to here, so let's just walk it. Got it. Mind if I split off on the way? There's somewhere I want to drop by. No can do. You're just trying to go home, aren't you? We'll go to Iris Academy together. Uh. What was the thing I missed? Unremarkable, unreliable. A glowing review. to travel. Wow, that was very gendered. <laughs> the pink and the blue. <laughs> Alright then. Excuse me, I wanted to ask you something. Are you familiar with a second year named Sumikazu Yasuoka? Yasuoka? Yeah, I know him, but... I have business with Yasuoka. Is he still on campus? Yeah, he is. He was getting ready to go earlier, so he should be leaving in a bit. If you wait here, maybe you'll see him. Oh, am I going to have to snipe this guy? Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Okay, let's keep it up then. We'll question people coming out and see if we can find Yasuoka. Is this like a time thing? Hold the sub to restart the mission. Oh man, we got to like speed interview these people. Yasuoka, don't know him. Second year, don't know him. Seriously average. Is he rich? Okay, well, we got that much at least. Who's that? Got no clue. Uh, son of the president of Yasuoka Manufacturing, which means he'll be president someday. Lucky him, huh? 
Yasuoka Manufacturing? I've never heard of it. Is it not an especially big company? Nah, but they say Natsume Corporation wouldn't have flourished without Yasuoka Manufacturing. It must be a pretty am amazing company, I guess. Oh, this was a marriage of convenience. They totally were just consolidating power. Merging of their empires. Is this him? Never heard of him. Nope. Oh, I completely missed that. Uh, girls from Cosmos. Yes, Mikazi's fiance was over there. Yep. Shiori Natsume, although she died. Yeah, that was it. Of course, I say fiance, but their respective fathers were set on it and decided it for them, apparently. Even so, gotta be a shock for your fiance to die. We, I mean, that could have been guessed. Huh? Abe, long time no see. If it ain't Haitani, come to think of it, you did go here. You know a Makari? Yeah, I took the same tutoring classes during junior high. Haitani, you know Sumikaze Yasuoka? We want to know what he's like. Oh yeah, that guy. The guy who was engaged to a super rich lady at your school. Natsume, wasn't it? But he's not in my class, so I don't know. Sorry, guys. No, no, thanks for your assistance. An acquaintance of Akari is from a junior high, huh? I wonder if I could have him tell me some secret Akari anecdote. <laughs> Alright, little chatterbox. Do you remember I never talked? Uh, average guy. Sumikazu, you remember right? Engaged a girl, wouldn't marry her though. What? Did he now? Yep. I bet the fiancés of his was super... Oh, they're building up in the back. Uh, guy's asking for a slapping saying that, but she didn't she die, actually? Oh, so he had no intent of marrying her. Yasuoka don't know him. Oh, no. Come back here. Oh. Fiancé close. Weren't at first. Got friendly. Uh, talking fondly for a bunch. Went shopping. Oh, don't get back here. I want this dude. Oh, cannot be helped. Screwed up there. He remarked that the death of his fiance couldn't be helped. What they do? Assassinate her? Jeez. Hairstyle like mine. Don't know him. In a rush. Second year. Had, had someone else. See student. Oh, we're really like. We're fielding these dudes. Don't know them. Don't know, dude. Bunch of students. Not him. You girls need something? All the students are gone, so I'm closing up. What? That can't be. Strange. I thought we just overlooked him. Maybe he was wary of us, played dumb and scurried off. What? We were supposed to grill him? Did I lose all my data on him as well? Oh no! Hey, you said that you don't know him, but could it be that you're him, Sumikazu Yasuoka? Relax, I'm not up to anything nefarious, I just want to talk for a bit. What do you want? Oh, dude. You really cropped that hair. <laughs> the rate like that, you grow up to be Miles Edgeworth or something. So you are Yasuoka, thank goodness. I want to ask about Shiori Natsume. Can we take this elsewhere? Oh, snap, we're even got to get some real juicy gossip here. Off the record. I'm sorry for lying earlier. I was a bit wary that some girl I didn't know was looking for me. Don't sweat it. I'm sorry to have appeared out of the blue myself. Don't worry, I won't take up your time. Uh, first of all, my deepest condolences for your loss is really quite a shame. So, on to business. What do you think about Shiori Natsume's death, Yasuoka? <laughs> Be honest. Was your engagement to Natsume just a political marriage? Your father's foisted it upon you, right? Perhaps Natsume's father had a debt of gratitude to your father, so he made his daughter to be your bride? And I hear you had no will to marry her at first, but more recently you got on board. Why is that? Oh, that's right. Apparently you remarked that Natsume's death couldn't be helped. What do you mean by that? So, 
Do you perhaps know something about her death? Was there some situation in Natsume that even her dying was to be expected? You two, why are you investigating into Shiori? Mm, well, I've got a couple notions, but I guess number one is I want to have it make sense. Why did Natsume die? I want to make the truth clear, so I ask for your assistance. Right, sorry, but I have nothing to tell you. Well, well then why do we take this elsewhere? Because I wanted to make it plainly clear that I had nothing to say to you, and it'd be a bother if I were to loiter in front of the school. Don't you find it rude to the deceased, and those who mourn her loss, to dig around for her secrets? It's despicable. I was Shiori's fiance. I intended to marry her. So even if Shiori is dead, I will protect her. Protect her from people like you, uncouthly aiming to expose her secret. If Shiori chose death, then there's no more reason for her to suffer. Apologies you had to come out here, but I'll be taking my leave. Take care on your way back. Well, thanks for nothing! Wait, then at least tell me, what did you think of Natsume? I respected her, and I did like her. We talked about becoming family, starting a family. At 17, in this economy? Goodbye. Don't stick your noses into anything to do with Shiori anymore. Or else... You got a real outfit going on around here. Ugh, what the heck? Despicable? Uncouth? You're gonna go that far? As if you getting mad makes any sense. Yasuoko is right to say it. The fourth show of sympathy was bad enough, then bluntly stepping on one delicate topic after another. Miss Insensitive is still at large. I feel like your ability to take action off a single feeling is a strength, but... Learn to consider, consider other people just a little more. Don't be rude, I'm doing my best. People doing their best don't change into full body tights outside, even if it is dark out. <laughs> You're the one who said it's futile to search other people's hearts, Akari. I'm not saying you have to completely understand or even sympathize. Figure out how people tick and make use of it. Especially if you're aiming to get things moving the way you want them to. At this rate, I'm pretty sure you won't be getting a peep out of Miyuki. Miyuki? Is she that stubborn? You'll see when you meet her. Right. Well, I guess I I did get to talk to Yasuoka. So I guess we'll call the Iris Academy mission a technical success. True, and we did get info out of it. Yasuoka's clearly hiding something. Something about Natsume that he can't tell others. Eh? All we told Yasuoka is that we're searching for the truth of Natsume's death, but Yasuoka changed that out for her secret. The truth, what it was that resulted in Natsume's death, isn't necessarily her secret. It was a whole month ago in it, too. But from the way talked, Yasuoka, Yasuoka seems convinced Natsume's death was suicide. He thinks that's the truth. And he's opposed to us trying to expose the reasons for that suicide, Natsume's secret. But I get it. Natsume's secret, which is to say the circumstances that led him to say it couldn't be helped. Also, his relationship with Natsume. We heard he was optimistic about marriage, but it didn't look like he had feelings for her. Well, why not? He was all, I liked her. When you asked him what he thought of Natsume, his immediate response was, I respected her before I liked her. Maybe liked her is how he really feels, but romantically, seems up in the air. And all the harder to know with his family situation making things murky. Oh, I guess you could see it that way too. You know, we heard Yasuoka seemed unreliable, but talking to him, I didn't see it. Maybe just because he was mad, but... Ugh, I'm getting overloaded by all this info. Let's consider Yasuoka thoroughly some other time. I don't hear the orchestra playing, but the music room lights are on, which means practice is over and there are still people left. Alright, let's pull ourselves together. We'll question the orchestra club members and Miyuki. Oh yeah, I, actually, I need to question the orchestra club about Natsume too, since I couldn't before. All right, time to get a move on. Two topics. Oh, I feel like I've heard this song, but I don't know what it is. Uh, super good at violin, considered a hobby. Miyuki storage room. Stoic, harsh on herself and others, I'd say. 
Uh, on top of really pretty, good at violin, lonely without her. Highly competitive side. I don't know, I'm just like a casual at everything. Uh, third year, don't know Shiori, good at violin. Uh, Miyuki, she's hard to approach, so she's a little bit feared, but she's really caring. Truly our dependable club leader. Well, we haven't had any responses to any of this, we're just like asking questions. Uh, skilled at violin. People do music really do need money, huh? Uh, yelled at later. I love the forcefulness of Miyuki's violin. She's more suited for soloing than an orchestra. Yeah, I'll, I'll see that quote on LinkedIn later, I'm sure. Woodwinds, violin, personality, yeah, whatever. The instrument is a window to the soul. Okay, here we go. Natsume-senpai, come to think of it, she often mentioned her respect for the club head. Kind of adored her like a big sister. Maybe they felt close as fellow violin experts? And then I want to talk to you about Miyuki. Practicing in the storage room. Oh, she is soloing in the storage room then. Uh, or of her own, like that of this leader. Uh, incredible air, different world. Come to think of it, she already had a real expensive violin. My clarinet's a cheap piece of junk. I wonder what happened to that violin? Interesting question to be asking. Uh, Miyuki's been going to violin classes, long time, most people slack from the club, Miyuki takes both very seriously, no compromises for violin, good on her. Ooh, come on. Uh, good violin, perfect. Endo, kind of scary, diligent, good violin, hard to approach. Uh, everyone like, not smarmy. Uh, Miyuki, huh, feels like a lone wolf, but Shiori was affectionate with her, and she didn't seem opposed to it herself. Wait, wait, wait. What was the what was their conclusion drawn from that? Uh, Shiori was fairly affectionate towards her, and she didn't seem opposed to it herself. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, string instruments, violin, practice all the time. You're impressive. Da -da, yeah. Actually, Miyuki was concert mistress for a long time, but one day she suddenly handed it to Shiori. Surely there was no reason to do that. I wish she kept it up until graduation. Oh, the previous competition. Natsume was concert mistress for that. Yep, Shiori was reluctant, but ultimately gave in. And since then, the two seemed to become distant. So that was the point of conflict? I'm gonna assume. Actually. I'm like, two hours almost into this Let's Play and I forgot to check. How many save slots do we have? 16? Ooh. 20 slots, that's so luxurious. I think that's everyone in here. Alright, we're good. What's through here? Oh, Miyuki's doing personal practice. Oh, I gotta conclude. Oh, so that's Miyuki playing. I thought someone in here was doing it. Well, I'll just camp this door. Let me in! Pounding on that door. What? <laughs> you grade early. Long time no see, Miss Abe. Hey. Do you need something? I was just about to leave. It's not me. It's this shorty here who has business with you, it seems. <laughs> just selling her out. Nice to meet you. I'm Oye Oye from 2A, head of the newspaper club. Good to meet you as well. I'm third year, Miyuki Endo. What is your business? I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of an investigation for an article, and you see, I'd like to ask you about Shiori Natsume. About Shiori? An article? What do you intend to write? The story that Natsume killed herself just didn't sit right with me, so I'm looking into if it's true or not. And so you came here just to hear what I had to say. I appreciate your efforts. How passionate you are for your club. If you're going to do something, you must do it all the way, even if it's only for a school club. You think so too, don't you, Miss Abe? Uh-huh. Well, my club activity is going home, so I wouldn't know about all that. Miss Ue, I apologize, but I can't speak about Shiori's death. I feel that I mustn't. And I, I do not know why Shiori died, and it's no good to spout speculation ignorant of the truth. 
It seems you were talking with the others in the other room. Perhaps you were questioning them. Were you perhaps questioning them about Shiori's death? If so, I hope you'll refrain in the future. Many were shocked by Shiori's death. Don't reopen old wounds aimlessly. I'm sorry, but um, I was just asking what Natsume was like, not going so far as to ask why she died. In that case, very well. Sorry for doubting you. If this is about Shiori herself and not her death, then I'll tell you what I can. Is there something you want to ask? Uh, well, Miyuki, it's maybe more about you than Natsume, but... Why did you hand over the title of the concert mistress to Natsume? There was no need for that, was there? It sounds like Natsume is fond of you, and you accepted that yourself, yet things got awkward between you after passing the concert mistress role. Did something happen with you and Natsume? It's not a pleasing thing to be accused of being involved in someone's death. I didn't mean anything like that. It's not as if I suspect you, Miyuki. If you're gathering info from people connected to the deceased, investigating to disprove the suggestion of suicide, that is what it implies, is it not? Sorry for getting off topic. Whatever I may have felt, it has no relevance to what you wish to know, Miss Uwe. The concert mistress is the first violin, the top performer, and she is the orchestra's deep trust. She must be able to manage them all. She already met those requirements easily, though she herself showed modesty. So I gave it to her because I wanted to. That's all it is. The previous competition was Shiori's first time as concert mistress. You know how it went yourself, yes? You wrote an article for us, Miss Elway. Did one of the other girls in the club tell you that we became awkward? People see things their own ways. I have no right to speak on it. I don't believe that my judgment was mistaken, and I have no regrets, even after Shiori's passing. Is that enough? I should be going soon. I have violin lessons to attend. Uh, yeah, sorry to bother you. I don't get animosity from these people. Miss Uoi. You know Shiori was a girl who garnered affection and aspiration, so be cautious. If you continue with this approach, you'll make enemies before you know it. Though I don't intend to stop what you're doing myself. Right. So what'd you make of her? Miyuki, I mean. It was sort of like she had no openings, and in the end, she skillfully dodged my questions, too. I'm kind of left with an upset stomach. She's smart. Even if she seems generous, in truth, she's got a guard up. She'll never say what she doesn't want to. Yeah, she was kind of forceful, so I felt like she was mad at me the whole time. Between Yasuoka and Miyuki, everyone's so thorny. I really just want to know the truth. No getting around that. Miyuki said it herself. You're gonna make enemies. The closer they were to Natsume, the more they'll hate being probed, whether they got guilty feelings or not. Do things how you wanna, but have some awareness of the ire it'll get you. How about rethinking whether you want to investigate Natsume that badly? I guess so. I'll go home and think it over. Oh, we're getting a little disheartened. I don't care if I get shunned if I make enemies. I don't care about that. I just want to know the truth no matter what. I'm just investigating for myself. I'm selfishness first. If the alternative is this haziness, I can put up with a little resentment. Any objections? Not really. It's your decision after all. So what will it be today? For today, we're going to question people about Midori Hahaki. -ha 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 <laughs> we've hardly any prior knowledge of her, and we've been told she has little presence, and she doesn't seem to be in a club. For now, we'll question second years, then look for Midori herself, though who knows if she's on campus. Oh, you know, I never actually said it, but Midori Hahakigi is the girl who was crying on the stairs the roof before. What? Is she? Why didn't you say that sooner? <laughs> I knew it! I kept looking for a reason. Even if I knew her existence, I don't know anything about her, so I figured there was no reason to. You're gonna look for Hahakigi, right? Be glad we got an appearance to go off of. Right, yeah. She might be at home since she's not in a club, but let's take a look. Oh, uh, investigation time. Let's have a look at our cell phone. Oh, actually. Okay, now they filled in the, the outline. We still haven't found... Con hmm. Do, do, do. Let's 
let me save and then let's oops, let's go ahead and check the statues. Did we get any new ones? No, we did not. Mm, no change yet. I wonder if the what the pedestal symbolism is beyond the quote that we had earlier from Akari about like idols falling off pedestals and whatnot. I do wonder. Ah, Hakiki, huh? There's no problem with her, but her parents are a different story. How so? Are they like helicopter parents? Yeah, I hear whenever she doesn't get good enough test scores, they come to yell at the school. Homeroom teacher was complaining. They're awful strict on their daughter and restrict her a bunch, I'm told. Can't go out even on days off. That's rough for a girl her age. Okay. So you had a bad upbringing, is basically, or not bad, but you had a really strict and terrible upbringing. Go by that name, don't remember her. Wow, okay, like zero impression. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I don't think I ever looked up to anyone in my school like that. <laughs> I just don't... I don't know. With time, I feel like I'd also just kind of thought about this in recent times. That I think the challenge with this day and age is that people that you tend to idolize, I think with... I don't know if it's inspired or if the bad behavior was always there, but it seems like we just get a lot of... We have a lot of bad actors out there that are using their role in inspiring individuals as like some kind of leverage to do something that others would consider immoral or is not fair. You can read in between the lines for what I mean. I'm sure you can think of an example, but I don't know. I just don't feel like there's any particular idol that I hold. There's no one person that I would strive to become. And that's just kind of the way I see things. I also am getting eye strain from just staring at this monitor, and so I am blinking non-stop. Oh yeah, I've been like, wired on this caffeine. <laughs> that sure would do it. Thankfully, I didn't- I had freaking Panera Charged Lemonade in the fridge here too, it's like, more caffeinated or as caffeinated as coffee, but in the form of lemonade, and that is some risky business. Midori Hakigi, I feel like, okay, you don't remember. Didn't even need to read all of that. What do you have to say? Uh, comes to the infirmary to rest sometimes, not... She doesn't seem very physically sturdy. Huh, does she ever talk or anything? Not much more than small talk, she's a quiet one. Now that I think of it, I heard she doesn't have a phone or PC. I was shocked when I heard. What, she doesn't? Rare for a girl these days, isn't it? Young people now chat on social media, don't they? I wonder if she can communicate well with her friends. Yeah, fair enough. You know, come to think of it. I didn't even have a smartphone at this time. At that age. I truly didn't. I still had an old, like, one of the sliding phones with the full keyboard, like a QWERTY keyboard. Dropped it on concrete, broke it, had to warranty it, but I didn't really, I didn't get my first smartphone until I started college. So, is it really that rare? Uh, I mean, like, not having a phone in general, okay, yes. But, I don't know, I feel like the, the smartphone thing is kind of overblown. Haha Kigi, a strange surname. I don't know what she's like. That's just the way I feel. Oh, drama's not- oh wait, it's Friday, isn't it? Oh, you know what that means, we gotta get down on Friday. Everyone's looking forward to the weekend. Weekend. What year did that song even come out, come to think of it? I'm gonna look this up. Two thousand eleven. Okay, so this would have been two years after the advent of Friday on the internet. Oh, the times. Oh, we had so many dialogues. 
Ah, oh, that girl. A girl who's always Natsume. Kind of forgettable. Maybe no one really knew her very well. Unhelpful. Aha, the girl with the hair that's half up in a bun. I haven't seen her lately. What class was she again? She's not coming to school? That's concerning. Don't know that girl. It's kind of an unusual... You just had a comma at the end of that? What kind of Twitter post is that? Uh, nothing to say. Man, maybe the girls in the bathroom will really have some gossip. Oh, there's some typos here. It's best if you don't ask Haha Kiki about Shiori, okay? Huh, why? There's three girls who hang out with Haha Kiki lately, and they'll yell at you not to bring up Shiori. They seem to be concerned for her, but... Ah, that's right, you told me before how there are some girls who overreact. And they're with Midori Haha Kiki? Right, they're diligent girls. I wonder if they're being considerate to keep Haha Kiki from getting hurt since she got along with Shiori. Oh man, we gotta like fight the three mini bosses first before we can get to the the question. Not in the club, sticks around after school, doesn't want to go home. Really? I wonder if she's still around today too. Who knows? Oh actually I saw her outside the staff room earlier, so maybe she is. We gotta get on that. Uh gain friends, three others. By lately, you mean after Natsume died? They weren't friendly before that? Yeah, it seems so. Uh, Kiki's kind of gloomy and all. She probably didn't have many friends, you know? Okay. Just had to make sure I only had one question. Uh, second year, cute, pretty, whatever. You had nothing to add to this. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I live in the same apartment complex as Haha Kiki, but never seen it with friends. Maybe she didn't interact with anyone but Natsume. Then who are the three? Uh, no clue. Can't remember. Oh, I can leave still? I can go back to Iris Academy? Haha, <laughs> Kiki, timid and mature, pessimistic, kind of gloomy. None of those things were glowing. Who's that? We have a girl named that here. Second year. Can I really leave still? Oh, there's just like straight up nothing to do here. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we had the option. But I think that's pretty much everyone. Okay, let's conclude. Huh, normally it takes me to somewhere, so. Oh, shoot. I went and bought it yesterday, but thank you. Got a new book in. Did I come and ask the librarian? I might not have. Oops. Try the handle real quick. It said outside the staff room, so surely she's here. You didn't know her, so she's not gonna be in there. Entrance? Aha! Ha ha, Kiki, do you have a sec? Mm -mm. You got along with Shiori Natsume, didn't you, Haki? We're looking into Natsume for the sake of the newspaper club, so could we possibly talk with you? Uh oh. Ah, oh, hey! Way to go, idiot. Oh, we're supposed to chase her. Well, that was my first guess, so now I'm out of ideas. Where'd she run off to? There's only so many places you can hide. Did she run out, or did she run into the school? Well, oh, they're still shuffling. It's like day five. Man, how many places are there that she can hide? This school isn't even that big. Hmm. 
Where, oh, where? Oh. <laughs> oh, Kiki, so this is where you were. We're not, to up, we're not up to anything dubious. We're Ue and Abe from 2A. Please assist the newspaper club with. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's like school hide and seek. My instinct is always the auditorium. Like, if I had to hide somewhere, it'd be in that, like, in the room or something, you know? There you are, Hahakigi. Why are you running? Don't be so startled. I just want to ask a bit of a Shirani Natsume. Sorry, um... Ah, Kiki! Jeez, why are you running? I won't let you get away next time! Want me to borrow a net? Fujimura might have one. No, I wouldn't go that far. I'm in here, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say she's not in here. That's the library. I was going to check the social studies again. <laughs> You've got nose hair sticking out. Terrible. Disgusting. Put some work into your appearance. You're the newspaper club advisor. Shut up. It's good to have hair in abundance, yeah? No. No, it's not. Have some self-respect, man. I feel like there was at least one teacher I heard of. I, didn't, I never had that dude, but that actually was a common comment from people. It's like, dang, dude, groom. Haha, <laughs> Kiki, why are you running? Please, let me talk to you. But I don't have anything to say to... Anything's fine. Look, we didn't. Know, we don't know you very well either, Haha, Kiki, so I'd appreciate you telling us. And come on, Shiori Natsume was your closest friend, wasn't she? Won't you reminisce for us? Is she gonna get dark to be like, Sh no, she wasn't. Shiori. <laughs> what is it? Shiori never thought of me as a friend. Ah, uh, how do you mean? Ah, there you are, Hahaki. Uh oh. Jeez, we said we're going home together, right? We need to go looking for you. Hahaki, are you crying? What's wrong? Hey, you two! What'd you do to Hakiki? Ooh, dramatic piano music. Um, no, it's not. We're looking at Shiori Natsume for the newspaper club. Oh, we said the, we said the trigger word. We're gonna activate their, their killer instincts. Natsume, you were questioning Hakiki about Natsume. Stop that. Hakiki was friends with Natsume. You know, she was shocked by her death. Don't go opening up those wounds. You're terrible. I didn't mean to. Hakiki, let's go. You don't have to indulge people like that. They're probably just half in it for laughs anyways. Well, I see a contradiction in your in your comments here. I'm um, sorry I couldn't be of help. I'm gonna get you. Got my eye on you. The heck was that? Practically making us out as scoundrels. Sure, I feel bad about making her cry, but... So those are the overreactors Sato mentioned. I see. Ah, so they're the ones who are hanging around Hahakigi. The three of them weren't friends with Hahakigi before Natsume died, right? Yeah, now they're acting like that. We'll show concern for poor Hahakigi, who lost her only friend, I'll bet. What kind souls. Hmm, I wonder about how that feels when you're in Hahakigi's shoes. I mean, it's not like they get along, they're just with her out of sympathy, right? Wouldn't that be uncomfortable? Who knows? But hey, it seemed like she hardly had any friends to start with. Maybe a positive outcome overall? That's too pragmatic of an approach. Don't know Hakigi's true feelings, but if she's not opposed to it, it's not for others to speak on. So, pretty sure we hit our limit for questioning Hakigi now, and you saw how she was. Yeah, I'm curious what she really meant by Natsume not thinking of her as a friend, but no chance we can do any more today. Yup, so can we go home? Yeah, let's go, though I will be making a stop. Where? At Natsume's house. Ta-da! Next, I'll go to Natsume's house and talk with her family. What, for real? That sounds like a hell of a hassle. 
And wait, do you even know where Natsume's house is? Oh yeah, it's the biggest one in the city. I do, I do. It's just near Hanatachi Station. It's well known as a high-end residence. Well, surprise. Even if you went, how are you going to extract info? We've got no connection whatsoever, just attended the same school. If I brought up the newspaper club thing, that'd probably make things worse. Maybe something like, I want to talk about memories of her would work. Well, let's just try going. Even if we can't talk with them, we might get something out of it. Pain in my ass. Poor Akari and the no good terrible day. Let's go look at our rumors. Mm. We still haven't figured out this cat hag thing. I feel like this is a significant thing. We still haven't met this one rival here. We don't know what Shiori looked like, so. Actually, no, I did want to save. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's a traditional house. Oh, I'd heard rumor of it, but it really is a fancy estate. Um, oh, hey. You want to run a simulation of how you're going to talk to him first? Oh, wow, we're like, we're suited up. Uh, first of all, my deepest condolences, pray for happiness in the next world, etc., etc. So, what kind of girl was your daughter? What was she like before she killed? What are the rumors that she... Yeah, yep. I hear you loud and clear. Oh, wait. You just keep a meek expression and shut up for a while. <laughs> well, why? There's stuff I want to ask. You realize if you screw this up, it's going to be a problem later. Your approach is absolutely going to make them upset with you. We just want to know info on Natsume. It doesn't matter what, right? I'll bring up whatever topic, so you just be patient. <laughs> all right, all right. This is the Natsume residence. Who might you be? Good day. My name is Akari Abe, and I'm a second year from Cosmos Girl Academy. Does the family of Shiori Natsume live here? Oh, she got all serious for that. You see that? Hmm. And what is your business? I simply wish to speak about Miss Shiori with her family. If they're preoccupied, however, I can come another time. No, that's all right. Please wait a moment. I'll summon the mistress. Dang, that worked. Hello there, I'm Ayako, Shiori and Sakura's mother. What was it you wanted? I'm terribly sorry to intrude upon you so suddenly. My name is Akari Abe from Cosmos Girl Academy, and this is Aoi Oe. Aoi Ue. We came today to express our deepest condolences for Miss Shiori, as we were unable to attend the funeral. Did we interrupt anything? My, it's no bother at all. I'm sure Shiori would be overjoyed. P please, go offer some incense. Thank you kindly. Could you place this in front of the altar? Oh my, thank you for going out of your way. Please, come inside. So that's why she stopped by our flower shop. That's our Akari. That explains the blazers, too. See, look at that. Tact gets you so far. Oh. It wouldn't be an indie RPG game without the clock noise, would it? Once again, I would express my deepest condolences for your loss. She was truly a pillar of our school, to lose Miss Shiori so soon. It is nothing short of a tragedy. Thank you. Shiori would be glad to hear you say that. Were you two perhaps friends with her? Yes. Miss Shiori was very kind to us while she yet lived. Is that so? I'm sorry for not recognizing the two of you. Shiori didn't sometimes invite over friends for parties, so I suppose you must have been around then. Yes, well. Excuse me, actually. Perhaps I cannot truly say we were friends with Miss Shiori. My, really, what do you mean by that? Miss Shiori was so graceful, gentle, and intelligent. She was truly wonderful. We always looked up to her. So we were last too nervous. We always wished to be closer with Miss Shiori, but it never came to pass. In the end, we were only we were able to speak with Miss Shiori only a bit. We can only ever watch her from a distance. When we heard she had passed, it came as such a great shock. We were too devastated to even think. More emails. Even while those close to Miss Shiori said they were going to her funeral, we were unable to join them. We were simply too saddened. It's only recently that we were able to recover from the shock, so today we decided to summon our courage to come here. 
We were unable to become close with Mashiori in life, so I thought if we could at least speak about her with her family. So that's what's happened. Shiori's blessed to have someone who saw that her saw her that way. Truly, thank you for coming today. No doubt it's rude of me to ask such a thing, but why do you suppose Miss Shiori had to pass away? That I don't know. All we know is that she died at school. The police told us the odds were high it was suicide, but she left no note, no anything. Suicide. I just can't believe it's true. We put her in a good school, gave her good things, made the best environment we could for her. Why would she go and give up a stable future? I can only imagine your heartache. I don't suppose Miss Shiori showed any unusual behavior, behavior before she died. Hmm. No, she was truly the same as ever. Perhaps it was just putting on a brave face, but she seemed excited about her club time and violin practice. I see. As I thought, even her parents saw her as a princess worth boasting about. What was she usually like at home? I may be biased as her mother, but Shiori really was such a good girl. She always did as we told her. She worked hard at both school and violin. She was never defiant towards us even once. But when marriage came up, even she was at a loss, yes. But she endeavored to get along with her fiancé, and once he finally opened up too, they became close. For it to end up like this, after all that, I truly feel sorry for him. No doubt her betrothed is deeply saddened by the loss of someone as wonderful as Miss Shiori as well. But perhaps none can match the sorrow of the parents who raised her such. When Miss Shiori was alive, I saw in her traces of her ex I saw in her traces of her excellent upbringing. I thank you for accepting us today, truly. I feel our grief is ever so slightly healed by getting to speak about Miss Shiori. No, thank you. If you like, please come again after the 49th day memorial rite. We'll be distributing mementos of Shiori. No, that's alright. More importantly, if it's alright with you, madam. On second thought, I think I'll refrain. It's simply too imprudent. What is it? It's alright, go ahead. If it's alright with you, could we be allowed to see Miss Shiori's room? I've always wondered what sort of room a person as wonderful as Miss Shiori would have spent her time in. I hope to be invited there someday. <laughs> I'm sorry, it really is brazen to ask, especially when we are unable to be, even be friends with Miss Shiori. Now don't say that, please, go ahead and look, I'll show you to it. Thank you very much. Outwitted every turn. Dang, Akari just on it. That's Shiori's room there. Feel free to look around. Nothing's been touched since he passed away. It feels sad to change anything, you see. Oh, that's right. I have a tasty cake I can get out. Help yourself, won't you? I'll come call you when it's ready. Oh, no, you're too kind. Well, excuse our brief intrusion. When Sakura gets home, we're going to be busted. Right, all yours. Akari, you could be an actress. Appreciate it. Now hurry up and go. I don't think she suspects anything, but I don't want to stay too long and risk a slip-up. I'll stand guard here. I'll knock if things seem dicey. When I do, come right out. Be sure to check around the room for anything of interest. Oh, and you might want to take photos. Go on, get. What's up? Going into a dead person's room and investigating their belongings wasn't something I anticipated, so I'm not mentally prepared. What are you on about? As if you hadn't been running an investigation that stomps all over that dead person's privacy. But if you don't want to find, in that case, let's leave ASAP. This house ain't comfortable. I'll do it, I'll do it. But I've come this far, I've got to. Be sure to signal me. Oh boy. Here we go! I've gone inside. I feel like I'm doing something really bad. Offer a prayer, man. But, well, too late to worry now. Let's investigate like heck. Uniform, uh, leave it. Violin, take me out, bad news are broke. Lamp and phone charger. Miscellaneous, cats. Oh yeah, the cat thing. Cosmetics. Nothing worth a mention. Uh, stationary envelope, check PC, not enough time. Big stereo, meditation, the ties. Oh wait, that's one of the classics, huh? Don't have TV in the room. Mirror. Fancy bags. Closed. Close that. Trash can's empty. What already? This is too fast. I want to look more thoroughly. Oh, two more photos. All 
Alright, I'm committed to this. Battery's dead, okay. Oh? This is... So slow. The old lady called twice, though I managed to play it off. Yeah, sorry. Something up? Whatever, I'll ask later. Let's go downstairs for now. Oh, we found something that could change our world. Thank you for so much. Thank you so much for today. Even getting a cake out for us. It's fine. I was glad to hear about my alma mater, Cosmos Academy. Sakura won't talk about it much. Please do come for the memento distribution after the 49th day. A few of Shiori's friends should be coming, so if you could accompany them. Thank you very much. I'll be sure to come by. Well then, we'll take our leave today. Apologies for dropping in so suddenly. Oh, we're so caught. Well, why are you two? Uh-oh. Mom, why did you let these people in the house? Now, Sakura, greet them properly. These are friends of Shiori's. They came to offer incense for her. Friends? Wrong. It's not like that. These people are digging up info on her. That's enough, Sakura. You're being rude to our visitors. Stop being foolish and get dressed. We're having a meal with the Yasuokas, and you're going too. Oh, man, they're gonna offer her up next? Jeez. Why? I've never gone to meals with the Yasuokas before. It was usually Shiori who... Oh, she figured it out. Don't tell me, because she's gone. Instead, you're having me and Sumikazu. What are you saying? My word. Aren't such things for us to decide? Be sure to have a good chat with them now. Ooh. So arranged. Come now. Go and get changed. The housekeeper prepared your outfit. It's an ingrace one piece I bought just for today. Run. You bastards. It's because you're all like this that my sister died. Uh-oh. Really now? I apologize you to see her make a scene. She's been terribly defiant lately. Perhaps she's unstable with Shiori gone. I hope she can learn to be a calm girl like you two. I'm sure she must still be shaken by the loss of her dear sister. You have my sympathies. I hope she can cheer up soon. It feels like I saw something gross. I feel sick. Hey, Akari, are Natsume's parents trying to marry off Sakura to Yasuoka? Wouldn't put it past them. Haven't talked to the uh, with the Yasuokas yet, but it seems they want us soon. Her mother looked like a good person, too, to think she had such cruel things on her mind. Good person, really now? Only on the outside, at best. Even when we asked about Natsume, it was all I gave her good things, or she did what she was told. They raised their daughter so as to be useful to the family's future, so those are the only responses she had. No desire for a kid with independence. And since they lost the oldest daughter they raised with such care, now it's the Spare's turn. Talk about easy to read. Spare? You mean Sakura? Isn't that being too cruel? That's pretty much how she sees it, you know. Just say, you're thinking of her future, and it doesn't even look so bad. Oh, we did hear Sakura didn't get, get on well with her parents, but maybe it's to be expected, given all that. Sakura even said it's their parents' fault Natsume died, huh? I thought it was unbelievable that someone blessed like Natsume would kill herself, but maybe it's not like that, is it? Ah, came to a satisfactory answer. Well, investigation over. I won't quit now. In fact, I'm only more curious. Why did Natsume die? Before, I was just thinking I wanted to know the truth of Natsume's death. Why the most popular school girl in school had to die. But it seems Natsume wasn't blessed in every way like I thought. She wasn't just an idol that everyone looked up to. As I look into Natsume, the girl who was only an idol slowly seems to... slowly starts to seem more close. And then I want to know the reason for Natsume's death all the more. You can't help but be sensitive about the death of someone close, can you? It's not like I was friendly with her and we're not actually close or anything, so it's just a false impression, but... Anyway, that's how it feels now. So I'll continue my investigation. I'll learn more about Shiori Natsume, the person, and determine why she died. Are you fine with that, Akari? Sure, I'll follow after you. Go until you're satisfied. Oh yeah, when you came out of Natsume's room, you had kind of a weird look. Find something interesting in there? 
Uh, yeah, I checked a bunch of stuff and I took some photos. My phone ran out of battery, so I think I'll have us look over the photos I took tomorrow, but see. I had the misfortune of finding this, in the gap between the closet and the wall. Diary? Now that's something. So wait, you just took it? Yeah, I pulled it out without thinking, but hesitated to put it back. You were rushing me, too. It's got a lock on it. It seems like a simple one, though. Could break it open if you wanted. What will it be? Pry it open with a screwdriver, maybe a hammer? Hold on a second. Surely you're not intending to read what's inside. Surely you are. Isn't that what you took it for? No, I just found it and took it in a rush, but I just failed to put it back is all. If I left it lying around, her mother might have read it. It's a secret diary that was hidden. Putting myself in Natsume's shoes. I felt like she might not have wanted that. That maybe it'd be better if I had it. And yet if you read it, you could know just like that what Natsume was thinking, yeah? Be honest, you want to read it, right? Dang, you're really, like, pushing for this invasion of privacy here. So. Oh, well. I mean, well, yes, but to read something that's, like, crystallized private feelings? I have to feel self-conscious about it. Oh, wait. It's a sticky key. I opened the G-Force experience. Alright. What the hell is that about? You've been bluntly digging up all sorts of personal information using insensitivity as a shield. This is entirely different. How should I say this? I think diaries are like letters. Letters addressed to yourself. Letters should only be read by the people they're addressed to. No, other people can't read them. Not even if there's someone close. So only Natsume can read this diary. And so I won't read it. Even if honestly I really want to. Right, right. I get it. Do as you please. But what do I do now? I should return this diary, but... If I hand it over to that wicked mother, she might just read it. Nothing to do but keep it, right? Look, the lady did keep telling us to go to the memento giving. You just got yours in advance. I guess that's the only real choice. I'll store it at home for now. Well, it's getting late. We should go. The plot thickens. Now that we've interwoven business and industry into death and life. Whatever. Is it Monday? Okay, a bunch happened last week, but let's stay cheerful this week as we investigate further. Yeah, yeah, so what'll it be? Right, so the main task for today is questioning about Kanemurakami. Oh, you're doing it? Well, sure you keep feigning ignorance of Kanemurakami. You can't deal with her type, huh, Oi? Oh, was it that obvious? Not to the same extent as Natsume, but... Yeah, Murakami is popular, yeah, and super pretty. Definitely high up in the school casts, which makes her hard to approach as someone in the lowest of casts. I perhaps would not have selected that as the translation, but that's me. Natsume would have been the unchallenged number one though, right? Was she a problem for you? Hmm, Natsume's kind of different, you know? She had a soft air about her and was amicable. Wait, but none of that matters. Sure, she's tough for me to deal with, but if she's connected to Natsume, I'll look into Kana Murakami too. First I'll ask around, and then I'd like to talk to her in person. If she's still on campus, that is. Got it. So you're gonna question? Maybe second years to start? Not counting the girls in clubs. Murakami has a modeling job, so she doesn't seem to be in a club. Oh, but before we start questioning, we should check the photos I was able to take yesterday. Uh-oh. I feel like I definitely messed that one up. Okay. The desktop was like this. Maybe she was studying math? Oh, and there's stationery in an envelope, but there's nothing written. Think she was trying to write a letter? Guess so. Pretty old-fashioned these days. You make a good point. You can use just text or use social media. But who would she write a letter to? Uniform and violin, nothing too odd. Them being left out is probably because that's where Natsume left them. Keeping things just as they were when Natsume was alive. Uh, inside of her closet, bags out of frame. In Grace clothes, that brand's a real sign of wealth. Oh, the brand Natsume's mom was trying to have Sakura wear? I'm impressed you know just by looking. Are you knowledgeable about brands? Am not. Just zoom in on the photo. You can see a few tags. Lots of the loads of the clothes say In Grace. 
That one outfit hanging in the corner seems like a different line, though. Really flashy, isn't it? And the skirt's super short. Whoa. oh True, you can kind of see the tag on this, too. Maybe we can tell the brand if we zoom in. Let's see. Lady Grow. Wasn't that a Gyaru brand? They have a lot of gaudy designs. Just looked up. That's a Lady Grow One Piece. Came out this spring. Mm, so a steadfast princess like Natsume wore gaudy stuff like this. I kind of wish I had seen that. Kind of strange, huh? Huh? Is it? Isn't it a good thing? There must have been times she wanted to wear something like this. I know that. But just remember Natsume's mother. She wore expensive but plain clothes, and her hair was all done up. Oh, you were in that, like, $300 white t-shirt, plain white t-shirt vibe, huh? And even that outfit for Sakura, she bought it for her, right? Now, would a parent like that allow her daughter to wear these clothes? That's true. With what we know about their mother, she'd probably hate this. It's stuffed in the corner of the closet, so maybe she bought it in secret and was hiding it. Okay, so this was a useless photo, but this was a little bit better. Okay, well... It has been 2.41 and I'm very excited to get this video out, so I'm gonna call this first session here and I'll pick it back up in the coming days, but... Uh, initial impressions... Obviously, this is such a departure from the Strange Men series and, uh, Paranoiac and Mermaid Swamp and... Even Insanity, right? So... I can... I can begin to understand why Uri might have had a bit of hesitation about publishing this in light of the previous track record and the cultural aspects of, like, Japanese society, Japanese, I suppose, a, what did they call it, senior high school? Uh, yeah, senior high. So, I feel like it's just, you know, people f foraying into a different genre, like, trying to do something new compared to previous work, and I don't really have any... Like, I have nothing, no strong opinions yet, but I watched something recently that really gives me the same impression or the same idea as what this game is like, especially for Aoi. So I watched the, the Beckoning Silence, which I would really recommend as kind of a mountaineering film. And I think the premise of that was actually, despite you know, mountaineering, nothing to do with suspected suicide in a high school, right? But the idea that the host or the the narrator of that uh, movie, Joe Simpson Mountaineer, had started climbing because he read a book about a tragic expedition as a child and then nearly died himself in his 20s after essentially falling off a mountain, and he survived. But he went in that movie and retraced the steps of the expedition from the book that he had read that inspired him to go in, in which, tragically, all of the expedition members died on the climb and the, the return. So, I see that... For me, the way that he said it that kind of stuck out to me with how this game has been so far is putting yourself in the shoes of the deceased and asking, why was I allowed to live while others had to die? And I kind of got that impression there's a bit of dialogue somewhere in here while he's like, oh, if someone is like average as me and like lower middle class, you know, has nothing special, then why did someone as talented or as gifted had to die? I have to die. And so I really, I get that same impression. It's like a, a contemplation not only of life, but what it means to live. And I'm sure from what we've seen that there's the additional aspects of dissatisfied, uh, dissatisfaction with your arranged marriage, which is terrible. And then you're, you know, having enemies potentially right having kind of unknown relationships with other individuals having the pressure of being an, a quote-unquote idol being put on a pedestal or, uh, that people will look up to you on so these kind of elements that tie into what it meant for shiori to be alive so that's the kind of vibe that i get it's, i haven't seen anything scary yet so i don't really think of it in the same way but it's just a very interesting thought exercise it's very existential you definitely run the risk of, like, you know, the darkness of thinking about the value of a life and the meaning of a life, right? But I don't know. It's been very interesting so far, and it's not your typical, like, high-octane murder mystery, even. Just, like, a lot of... A lot of things that are disturbing but close enough to reality that uh, I think that makes them precisely disturbing is the, the fact that this is potentially one or two degrees detached from most of us. But anyhow, I'm going to save a lot of that. We'll see how the rest of this game goes. I don't know. Links will be in the description if you want to play this and beat me to it. But who knows? I'm just excited to be doing this. Um, 
I'll bring this up again at some point, but if you made it this far, this is the end of the video, but definitely just saying, keep an eye out on media coming out from Uri in the next year or so, because, you know, I might have had, I might have had just a little hand in some of that, so I'm very excited to share that when the time comes, just letting you know, expect a, expect a little something. But anyways, that's pretty much it. We'll see you in the next one. We'll continue this uh, and explore the next day. It's 1022 and we're just going to keep going and start making enemies. Yep.